Hello! <laughs> um, today we're making Mandelgook, which is Korean dumpling soup. We are making the dumplings and the stock from scratch. Um, I'm going to be... I bought some stuff, which is behind me. Um, it's not the most stuff I've ever bought for a stream, but it was really heavy because it was two huge bowls. Um, and we'll go through everything as we get through the recipe, I guess. Uh, as always, type exclamation mark recipe or exclamation mark food and the links will come up. It's the stuff that I'm following. I will tell you along the way if there are any things I have changed. Um, for example, was there anything I could- yeah, I couldn't find- um, there's a specific herb, like, vegetable thing that they say you can, you can use, but they realize it's hard to find. Hey, thank you so much for that host as well, Von Grunk. Thank you so much for that. Um, they said that they, they realized that it's hard to find, so they gave options, and so I got one of the other things that they um, suggested. Um, but hey, thank you guys for all of those hosts right at the start. That's really nice of you. Um, right, so I'm going to show you some things that we got, and then we can get into making it. So the only thing that I'm worried about is I got, um, okay, there's a few things that I'm going to say, well, they didn't have this, so I got this instead, which is always the way when I make recipes like this. I can never find the exact thing. Um, they specified to get the white square wonton wrappers, um, but they didn't, they didn't had the white round ones. So the dumplings are going to be a different shape, but they're exactly the same, like, base, like the dough is the same. Um, so... It should be fine. It's just they're going to be a different shape from the ones in the picture. I can't do the rosebud like round ones. I'll have to do like gyoza half circle ones. Um, what else? Yeah, so I got some these. These aren't actually baby bok choy as far as I know. They say that they're green choy mew. I don't know if that's a measurement or <laughs> I'm just being an idiot. But yeah, they're... um. They look like bok choy to me, so hopefully they'll they'll suffice. I don't know, we'll see when we get there. I may decide not to put them in. Um, but we're making the stock, so I've got dried kelp and dried anchovies. It took me forever to find the right, to find dried kelp, because there was dried seaweed, there was dried all sorts of stuff, but this is dried kelp. So kelp, I don't know why I did that pea so strong. Um, yeah, so that's all it is. It's just dried kelp. It's in a knot or something. It's like dried kelp knot. Yeah, but that's okay. It's gonna be in the stock, so it doesn't matter how it's formed. And dried anchovies. Yay! And there's gonna be pork in the dumplings. Um, they said you can use chicken mints if you can't find pork mints. I always can find pork mints, and then my wonderful friend who was with me helped me. Um, let's see. As long as they taste the same, which hopefully they will. I mean, they should. It's the same. It's the white ones, not the yellow ones. That's the difference. If you get the yellow ones, they're like egg and they won't taste the same. Are we talking measurements? That's interesting. All right, where's my tailoring kit? Wait, are you making dashi? I don't think it's dashi. Um, I, they didn't. Wait, no, maybe it is dashi. Give me a second. I'm going to find the recipe. I have it on my laptop, which is something I haven't been able to do in the longest time um, because... Yeah, oh no, it is dashi! Yeah, it's Korean dashi. Yes, we're making dashi from scratch. So if even if that's all we get done, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make that from scratch. Um, let me just... Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I forgot the settings on my computer are kind of weird. So it's hard to put windows next to each other without them snapping. There's a way she can now Not that kind of measurements. Oh yes, you're right, it is the Korean version of dashi. You are correct, you actually checked the link, whereas I forgot that that's what I was making. Yeah, we're making dashi, we're making uh, the dumplings, so we've got to get started. Let's get started. Um, first things first. I think you have this, this, this apron, don't you, TikTok? I've seen it in the back of your screens. Um, it's where she can now utter. Cause, girl, you damn brave. I, well, maybe I'm just stupid. There's a fine line between brave and stupid. You make a lot of Asian food. Cool. That's so cool. I've been making, I've only really made a few things. Also, this is my dinner, so I'm sorry if you see me snacking on this occasionally. I haven't eaten it yet, because I was running late, and I was like, I got no time to eat, I've got a stream. Mm. Okay, so. <sighs> we gotta get that dashi started. Um, I'm usually reading the recipe on my phone, but I'm going to try and be le less rude and check the computer this time. 
Doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, wipe dried kelp with a wet kitchen pad to clean it. You need to clean the kelp. That's that's what I was trying to say. I'm failing. Um, yeah, I made a couple of Korean things already on stream. I made um, I made kimbap and I made bibimbap. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't remember the word for that. And I made did I make something? No, I made something that's not technically Korean, but it's like Korean flavored. So I don't really know if that counts. But we're making mandaguk to mandaguk today, and we're gonna make some um, some other things on Sunday, which are gonna be exciting. Okay, well, good good luck with dinner. You've probably already left by now because I didn't reply for that. You can have soup for dinner. Just saying. Yeah, I'm gonna have this. This is gonna be my dinner, which is why I wasn't that fussed. <laughs> I should probably get out of pot, shouldn't I? I've actually made an exciting purchase for the stream, but I'm not going to tell you about it until it gets here. So. <laughs> now, these pads are about the same, so I'm just going to use this one. Actually, is my really nice pan clean? Because I kind of want to use that instead. No, I'll just use a large pan. That's fine. These pans are really thin, and I often burn things because they don't heat things very evenly and like nicely, so... Eh. Okay, um, what? Well, kitchen. It's that time already. Go to sleep, Luco. <laughs> I am... Oh, don't sing over the music, that's rude. Okay, turn that music down a little bit again. Uh, everything's all over the place for me right now. I don't know if that's too quiet. I'm trying to, again, like I said at the stream yesterday, I'm still figuring out the balancing of everything. So, excuse me. So, here we go with the dashi. Soak the, oh. Soak them for an hour. Welp. <laughs> um... I'm just gonna quickly read through it because clearly I missed the hour things. So I don't want to see if I want to see if there's anything else I missed. That's okay. We can make other things while it's doing its thing because it shouldn't shouldn't take too long, right? Right? Um. I can skip it. Oh never mind. It says I can skip it. That's great. Okay. Uh, so the first thing we have to do is we have to do something with these anchovies. Um, I'm scared because I've never touched anchovies in my life. Well, actually, we're going to clean the kelp first. And we're going to pop them in the hot water that isn't hot yet. Um, okay, I'm trying to do this. This is very weird for me. I'm not used to reading it off the screen. Add the anchovy uh, into the water. Then boil the, ke the kelp. Um, okay. I probably should have measured that, shouldn't I? <laughs> I'm so good at this. Okay. Let's actually be professional about this. Six cups of water, right? I'm gonna find my cup so we can do this properly. So I was like, it won't matter, I'm just cooking the kelp. And I was like, wait, no, I'm making stock. It's gonna depend, it's gonna make the stuff like more or less strong, depending on how much I use. So, I've been wondering. Okay. Uh. Six cups. This is a cup. This this is a pan. Six cups. Nice and easy. Turn that on to hot. Hi. One. Count with me, everybody. Don't worry, this is I'm not an educational stream. I mean, I am, but I'm not a kiddie stream. Two. Three. 
to three. My mouse over here is going to get splashed. Four. Hands probably not big enough, but it was fine. Like, there's only two things going in it, so it's not going to be five. It'll be five. This is the biggest part I have, so. Six. There we go. And I'm going to put that on the heat so we can do its thing. And I'll put the kelp in as soon as I've cleaned it. And we'll just, we'll just see how it goes. Um, right. I'll tell you what the hardest thing to find was. Look at these little knots. It's so weird. The hardest thing to find was the wine in the recipe. It's like a wine. Oh, wow. This stuff smells weird. Ooh, jeez. Cheesy peeps. I mean, it doesn't look like there's much on it. It says to clean it, but like, I'm just gonna pop this right in the water. Right, how much do I need before I start doing that? Ha ha ha, measurements, they're great. You should stick with them. Um, wait, it's not on there. I keep checking my phone for measurements. 10 ounces. Ten ounces? Ten grams. Point four ounces, not ten ounces. So, uh, wait, did you come over from uh, TikTok's stream, Von Grunk? How was it? What, what, what was, what was going on? What was happening on that stream? One, two, three. Why am I counting? That's not how it works. Wait, that's it? That's all I need. Like, that's apparently 10 grams. That's all I need. That's not very much at all. Yeah, that sounds a bit little. Hey, Danny, thank you so much for those bits. Ugh, oh, hurting Luco. He's gone to bed and now you're just hurting him. That's so rude. Um,. And then it's 30 grams of anchovies. That's and it results in four and a half cups of stock. Apparently. Oh, you were in another stream. Oh, cool. Well, welcome in anyway. <laughs> I mean, how much? Let me just check. I'm not doing something stupid. Four and a half cups. So this is exactly what I need for the for the soup. Apparently. Start Twitch and you were on. Oh, well, welcome in. That's very nice of you to join us. And thank you so much for, for popping in and, and hanging out here. Okay, so that's apparently all I need, which sounds a bit wrong to me, but oh well. Let's pop that in. Um, I've got a lot of kelp left. I'm just gonna pop in those extra ones, why not? Um, right, now, the next thing I need to do is is remove the head and the black innards of the anchovies. Put them in a tea strainer. Is my, if my sieve is clean, we'll just use that. Ooh, that smells really weird. I didn't smell, it doesn't smell as fishy as I expected. That's really strange. Um, I should probably get out a shopping board of some description. <laughs> Let me go work this out. Right. I don't want to touch them. This is them. I'm really, I'm actually genuinely really nervous and I don't know why. Like, they're all dead. Tiny little anjumi. How many fish do I need? I need 30 grams of this. This is 100 grams in this bag. Um, so I'm gonna, me I guess I should measure them first and then do it. <sighs> oh, they feel really weird. Oh, I don't know why I'm getting so squicked out about them. Okay. 
40 grams of, no, 30 grams of anchovies. find a use for it and it's not like it's uh, it's all dried so it should be fine okay now let's figure out how to do this <laughs> I don't know how to ooh 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 is that it? is that all I needed to take out? And I'm assuming that that 30 grams is before I take their heads off. Oh, this is so weird. Yeah, that's all of the the black stuff here. It's like this. this I don't even know. Okay, let's try this slightly bigger one. I heard that like the anchovies that are just. No, it's not anchovies, it's sardines that can just be any fish. These are so difficult to get out. <sighs> I'm making a right mess of this. It's okay, I'll get the hang of it. Ooh, I'm taking out its spine. Mm, lovely. I mean, they don't need to be whole because they're just going to be used for stock. Do I just... Should I, should I... I mean, I should take out its spine, right? That's... No, I'm just gonna leave it. Take out the black stuff, and then anything else I'll leave in. Oh! Have you, uh, have you made dashi before? Um, uh, Von, Von Grunk. I've... This is so weird. I don't know how far down I'm supposed to go. Well, I'm gonna have to okay, I'll just use, I'll keep the bone in. Yeah, I think it just seems to be that I can just pull off the head and it pulls out the black stuff with it most of the time. Because the black stuff's what we don't want. So this is the bad pile. And this is the good pile. Ew, Satan. Hey, show. Hmm, this is not very appealing. I will agree. Made a few version of fish stock. Cool. I don't think I realized that dashi was fish. Maybe it's not always fish, I don't know. But how's it going, show? I'm sorry, this will be over soon. God, they're so powdery. I don't know if all of them, but there are a lot of different types of dry, dried anchovies. Yeah, let's take out the, the inner organs, shall we? This <laughs> is just not opening. It's like with shrimp, and you have to take out the poop shoot, as I, lovely call, I lovingly call it. Yeah, I'm just checking that there's none, like, hiding. Because it doesn't matter if I rip them apart, I'm not, we're not doing it for presentation going in the liquid. So gross. Okay. Ah, oh, pretty sure my I'm allergic to my meds, but I don't just think that I'm fine. Ugh. Oh. Know that feeling! Not the allergic, but the, the doctor being like, Oh, there's nothing wrong with you, it's fine. Oh, there we go, hello. It adds a- it's edible, but it adds a bitterness. Oh, that's- that's good to know, actually. It's something I didn't know. 
the kind of things I, I want to learn. So now I know. And that dashi is starting to, not the dashi, the uh, kelp is starting to cook. I like to learn these kind of things and then like tweak them. But I need to learn them in the first place to know what to tweak. And how am I? I'm doing alright, I'm doing alright. Um, can you see the new, how, I mean maybe you can't tell how swanky the new the stream is right now because it's not obviously doing a lot better than it used to, but we're currently streaming on the new laptop, my friends. Um, which is mucho exciting. Let's get out of that bit. Joe is in the living room. He's not well. Oh no, it's okay. Yeah, they you you have to strain it anyway. So don't worry. I will. I will be fine with that. The recipe says to like put this in a strainer and then strain it again. It's just easier if you put it in a strainer first. Oh, that was easy. We streamed the Sims yesterday show and it was like, it was very fun because it actually ran, which is not something I ever, Sims never would have run on my old laptop. So. Let's get those uh, organs out of there, shall we? It's not something I really want. Oh gosh, it's still going. There we go. Well, it's one of those things that, like, if you when you once you start it, you're like, okay, this isn't too bad. But when when before you get started, you're like, oh god, this is gonna be disgusting. Okay. Hands are very covered in hand chewy dust. I didn't even know it was a thing. That's not a sentence I thought I would ever say. Um, okay. Strainer. This is the best thing. This is how this is the best we're gonna get. We don't have like a nicer tea strainer. It's just this sieve. Uh so do -do 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 -do, remove the head of like into the anchovy, put the cleaned anchovy into a large tea strainer. AKA this sieve, um, into the saucepan, then boil the kelp for an anchovies for 10 minutes. It's okay. Almost put the wrong pile in. Okay. Let's get that. Now they're in the water <laughs> um, for 10 minutes. They're not boiling yet. So when it starts to boil, we'll put the timer on. And I actually thought that was going to be way harder. Um, Remove the anchovy wall and sieve it through a kitchen muslin cloth. I've got a cheesecloth, so we're gonna do it through that. Hopefully that'll be a good that'll be good enough. Now it's ready to use. If you're gonna use it later, cool it down and it should keep for a few days. You need just a boiled bunch a bunch of boiled fish heads. You know it. That's that's totally my cuisine of choice. Anchovy head, no, I boiled, <laughs> boiled anchovy, not heads, the other parts, the rest of it, and kelp at the moment. So I actually thought that would take me a long time. So, I guess now we can get started making the dumplings. I think No, I'm sorry, I have a song stuck in my head, and it's um, very annoying because it's not the song that's playing in the background. Um, okay, so the dumplings. The dumpling recipe is by the Walks of Life, um, and it's it is pork. Um, and some other stuff, which is what we're gonna do. It's got it makes a lot, which we're probably not gonna need that much. So I'm gonna. Um, 
probably reduce the recipe just a little bitty. Um, or maybe just make all of them and then freeze them, because you can freeze them. I think. Need more afraid of internet's ready buggy. No, I'm sorry. Well, hopefully we'll see you again soon, and I'm sorry all you got to see was me decapitating some fish. Um, it's not exactly the most pleasant thing to go into, I'm sorry. Let's clean off any fishy residue off that counter. Um, right, so we're gonna make some dumplings now. And I'm gonna show you the things that we've got for the dumplings. So, we've got pork mince, we've got baby bok choy, or what I think is baby bok choy, it's called uh, just fresh green choy, so. and this, which was the hardest thing to find in the, uh, the Asian supermarket that we went to, it's cooking rice wine. Um, but it's not, it's not spelt the way that the one online was spelt, and we couldn't find it anywhere, and then we found it in the, um... Oh no, really? Is it acting up? It might be my end. But I don't, I, it shouldn't be. I hope it's not, because that would be very infuriating. Maybe the connection's not very good for me. Or maybe Twitch is just being a butt today, because I know a couple of other people have got disconnected. Um... Yeah, so this is the rice, the, no it's ours, it does this at time every night, oh gosh. That's, that's fun, that's fun that your internet stops working every night. Uh, yeah, so it's what water, rice, salt, and caramel. Ta-da! Um, so, this is going to be exciting. I also got this. This isn't for this recipe, but I'm always using rice vinegar, so I just thought I'm just gonna get a giant bottle. So I got a giant bottle! <laughs> it's huge, um, but I'm gonna use it all probably. Okay, this is starting to actually boil, or it's simmering right now. So in a few minutes that'll start boiling. So this is the stuff that they recommended using for this recipe, and they were like, if you can find it, get this stuff. So I'm g I got this stuff. They didn't ID me, which was nice. So clearly I'm obviously old enough. So we're gonna chop up this bad boy before we do anything else. Um, what, how much do I need for this? One and a half pounds of ground pork. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. What's ha one and a half pounds in grams? Here is information from rapidtables.com. Useful. I don't know why she didn't just tell me. She's usually good at telling me that kind of thing. Okay, it's 680 grams. So we've got just under that. Um which it, we've got 500 grams of meat. So, I don't know if if we should do some a, a bit less in terms of the meat. Why is my, I can't hear my music at all. Okay, it's playing. <laughs> so weird. Um, and how much is this? How much of this have we got? Grams. Supposed to be three pounds. Uh, so this is nowhere near enough for what we need. So we might have to reduce everything a little bit. We're just gonna use everything. We're just gonna use all of it because why not? You know, we've got a lot of we've got a lot of dumpling skins. We've got a lot of, of pork. Okay, I'm gonna say that that's boiling. So okay, Google, set me a timer for ten minutes, please. Hawkeye, right. Big bowl, let's get started. 
They both can go to the side, actually, for now, because we don't need it right now. Instead, we need to get chopping. Adapt to circumstances. Exactly. Like, in the recipe, they say, um, maybe you have more meat, maybe you put in more meat than we did. Maybe it's your soy sauce is saltier than ours. Tweak things, <laughs> so it's fine. I'm just gonna, gonna make up the whole batch and then cook one and then see if I need to add more salt or tweak it a little bit, see what happens. But we need to chop up the vegetables, which is gonna be something that's gonna be fun. Just watch the quantities of salt, yeah, yeah. I'll just put, I'll put in like half of what it says for all of the sauces and then I can add more once I've tasted one. Obviously not gonna taste the uncooked dumpling stuffing mix because it's gonna be uncooked pork. Uh, you know, we don't want that in our bodies. Mm. Um, oh my god, it smells so fishy in here. Bleh. Turn that up. Get rid of that smell. Sorry. That's true, it is very hard to remove salt. Good, good technique is putting potatoes. Potatoes to get rid of salt. But it depends obviously what you make. Oh my god. It's so fishy. I mean, it's not surprising that it's fishy. It's fish. It's just so strong. Okay, we should probably give these guys a little wash before we chop them up. Um, yeah, so wash them very thoroughly. And oh, I need to blanch them? Oh, awkward. <laughs> Camera, could you stop? Could you stop? No, why are you doing this? Sorry. Technical difficulties for the first stream in with this laptop. That'll have to do. Okay, we're just gonna like white it out because otherwise it's not gonna work. I'll fix it. Um, right, so we have to blanch these. So I'm gonna have to get my other pot. <laughs> so we can do that. First life lesson with Lara from this stream is always read the recipe through twice before you start making things. Because I have read this recipe through before I started, but I clearly forgot a bunch of things, like leaving the kelp to soak for an hour. Or, yeah, this is fine, that's good. Um, or blanching the vegetables before we do anything else. So, <laughs> let's... Oh, I know what that smells like. It smells like the beach. I was like getting nostalgic feels, and it smells like the beach. <laughs> it smells like seaweed, because it's got kelp in it, obviously. But that's what it smells like. I don't want to deafen you guys with a kettle, so we're just going to have to boil this slowly. Okay, so we, I, I'm just going to do all of them. And then we have to, so we have to blanch it, wash it, blanch it, um, and then cut it really small, apparently, which is why I got the chopping board out. said ideally that you want to um, use this like frozen thing, it's called chikai, full of a bunch of different names. The recipe explains what it is um, and I looked for it for ages and I didn't have it in my Asian supermarket so we just got these like weird little baby bok choys <laughs> instead. The annoying thing is there's no like data signal in that supermarket so I couldn't like search things to find alternatives, find out what was, what I could, should use. Okay, so yes, yeah, five minutes left on that. And then we have to wait for the other water to boil. It may be a while. Just wash all of these. Frozen tomato truck's fine. Well, we don't have, um, I don't have any frozen spinach left. I used to have loads, but, um, it's fine. We're going to use these instead because this was one of the things you suggested. So. I 
I think I may re try and like remake like a, a vegan version of this because it, it kind of I'm aware that I have very few friends who will want to eat this because it has meat in it and I have very few friends that actually eat meat um, so <laughs> so I'm just gonna be sitting here eating this soup like on my own for ages until I go until I finally eat all of it um, but we're gonna freeze the dumplings that we don't use today in the soup because you can freeze dumplings it's super easy and you know I, I like I love gyoza and dumplings and all sorts of things like that so I'm happy to eat them for dinner for the rest of my life <laughs> so we might <laughs> we might have like an hour of the stream where I'm just making dumpling after dumpling after dumpling that's fine for me. And um, we'll make an ice bath in that bowl. Uh, rather than waste a bunch of bowls, we'll just use the same one. Don't, this is so weird having the recipe on my phone. I mean, my computer. I might, I might move it to my phone. Because I feel weird about this. You can move much from me. Yeah, the, um, I'm going to make... I can't remember how you pronounce it. It's, it's doke bulgogi. I probably butchered that, but it's a beef stew, and I'm gonna make it instead with mushrooms. So I'll probably just do the same thing if I'm remaking this. But um, I'd like to see how it's supposed to taste before I make it vegan myself. That's usually what I like doing because I'm not I'm not actually vegan. I do like eating plant based a lot, but I'm not vegan myself. I'm not strictly vegan. Um, so that I can do things like this, and I can eat things like this, and try them out before I make them vegan. Okay, I am just opening all of the recipes, so bear with me just a moment. Um, okay, so I've opened up the dashi. Open up the dumplings! And then another tab for the actual mandu book. Please tell me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I know it's mandu, but I don't know how to pronounce the last, like how they would say the last part if you say the book. Guck. It's probably the first, the, the, the former. Okay, so now I can close this. So I'm not looking at that all the time, I can just have the chat up. There we go, which I can now read. Wonderful. Um, so what I need for the, the soup is the dumplings, the stock, and then a bunch of other stuff. Um, Did I... do I have... I don't have any eggs. Oh my god, are you kidding? We were supposed to go shopping today. I don't have any eggs. No! What time is it? Okay, because we're waiting for that water to boil, I may go and buy some eggs and put the BRB screen up because the shop downstairs is still open. I can still buy eggs. It should be fine but I need them for the soup and I didn't buy any today because I'm an idiot so I will do that I think how long do we have on that timer for the anchovies 38 seconds so I'll wait for that to be done um, and then I'll do that oh my god I can't believe I forgot to buy eggs such an idiot okay so once the once the anchovies have boiled what do I do then? Ten minutes. Remove the kelp and boil the anchovies. So I'll get a bowl for the kelp. So we can take that out. Check if I need anything else. Good plan. Smart person. And there's the timer. So I'm just gonna quickly see if I can grab these. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm gonna try and do it quick. just smells like the seaside. It's actually a really nice smell. Like, it's really nostalgic. I don't know if it's a nice smell, but it's very nostalgic for me because I grew up near the seaside in Scotland, so you know. Not exactly warm, but a lot of, a lot of seaweed. There we go. Put on another timer for 10 minutes, and I'm gonna just check. I don't need anything else. 
anchovies, water, no doing anything for that. Soy sauce, garlic, eggs, sesame oil, I've got all of those. I've got the green onions, I've got more eggs if I need them. I've got the nori, it's probably literally just eggs that I'm missing. And I'm gonna need eggs for the dumplings probably. No, I don't. Water, white pepper, soy sauce, sea sesame oil, the wine, the pork, and the, yeah, I've got everything I need. I just need to go get eggs. So I'm gonna be back less than 10 minutes. I'm just gonna quickly run downstairs and get the, um, <laughs> the eggs. I am an idiot, uh, but I will be back very soon. Don't you can go go on a break, go go grab a drink, go for a pee break, do whatever you need to do. I'll be back very soon. So guys, a little bit. <sighs> I ran <laughs> some of the way. Hello, hello. Ah, my goodness. Hey Coco, hey Jamie. <sighs> my heart is pounding right now. Also, this is steaming. But Joe was in, so if it went too round, the wrong, he was around. <sighs> you guys who just turned up, uh, <laughs> I forgot to get eggs. I don't know if, if, if you saw on Twitter then, sorry for I'm repeating information, but I need eggs for this and I totally forgot. Um, and I just realized that this whole time I had that water on to boil, it was in the wrong, it was on the wrong hall, but that's okay, because this is almost done. Uh, the reason I ran up the stairs, okay, a little bit backtrack. The sh I have a shop literally like building over at the, on, at the ground floor. So I was like, this is fine, I'll have plenty of time, I'll be all right. Oh, stream, could you not die please? You're on the new laptop, I don't want you to freak out. Um, so I went to go get them because they always have eggs and they're really nice eggs. So I went to go get them and there were a group of four, clearly people who were about to go have a party. They were already quite intoxicated and they took a very long time because they had a lot of stuff. Hello Zoe, hello. So um, I was standing in line like waiting and my timer was slowly ticking down. I had a pot, I had, this has to stop after 10 minutes. So I was like waiting, waiting, waiting and it was getting slower. And so I was like, if I don't get back, I'm gonna have to run. So I like ran back, but it wasn't like far. It just was a bit tiring, but I'm fine now. Um, and yeah, so We've got, so, let's talk about what was what was happening before we got to this point. Um, I have a pot of water boiling with anchovies in it. Mmm, yummy. And it also had kelp, which is what this is, but the kelp's not been taken out, obviously. And the anchovies are just cooking for a little bit longer on their own. Um, they're gonna be taken out in like less than a minute. How long? Tell me, my phone, tell me, 27 seconds and then that will be the stock done so we're just gonna pop the water onto boil to blanch these these are mini bok choys also i know that the camera is super white that is because the exposure settings ha I, the exposure settings are different because it's a new laptop and everything's different and the drivers are different but it's a small price to pay for the fact that i can have both of these both of these cameras set up at the same time without freaking out about settings okay so if I remember correctly, I'm just going to take, remove the anchovies and then sieve it. So I'm just going to take these out. Wow, look at that steam! Pop that there. Take that off the heat, we'll sieve that in a second, but we have to get this other water boiling so we can launch the vegetables. So yeah, so these are dried anchovies, ow that's hot weirdly, and dried kelp in, down there. Hey go go! Um, and then when that water starts boiling, which I know you can't see, but it's there, just trust me. When this pan starts boiling, we're gonna blanch all of these and then throw them in an ice, a bowl of ice water, which we have not prepared yet. But yes, I have the eggs, everything else is fine. Oh, I'm saying hi again because I couldn't see chat. Hello again! But who is hype? We are... Oh, this is getting heavy. We are streaming with um, our new laptop, which is very exciting. But the room is quite steamy, so I think it's starting to overheat my laptop just a little bit. So I'm going to get a cooling tray because this laptop is like 
important. Also, the, the, the stream keeps dropping a little bit. It's not as bad as the last laptop, but I'm, I'm worried about damaging it on its first stream, so I'm being very careful with it. Um, hey, Vice Pal! I'm doing great. I'm a little bit out of breath, but I think I'm fine now. Um, we're just waiting for this. I'm going to leave that uh, cooker hood on just a bit longer. I know it's a little loud. Um, oh, uh, and Coco, same to you. I'm doing okay. I hope you're, I'm glad you're doing okay. Um, trying to figure out which eight words I don't use. That is so annoying that you're over by eight words. I know that feeling. My dissertation was over by like a lot and then I, I tweaked it and I, I got it down and then I was like, oh no, wait, <laughs> it's like a couple of words I need to get rid of. Um, yes, yeah, so if I can touch this, this isn't too hot anymore. I can move this out of the way and I can show you what we were doing. So, this is what was cooking. Let me turn and change the camera. Yes, we're making a uh, dumpling soup. I, I know that you came in during a, a gaming stream, but I am mostly a. Um, words. I am mostly a cooking streamer, but been all of my day. It was worse, so no. So this is very steamy because it's still very hot. Dashi, it's Korean dashi. Uh, we have to strain it because it's still got like particles of fish, which is kind of disgusting, I know. Um, but we'll do that when it's cooled down a bit. We do, we do want it to be hot, but we're going to be streaming for ages, so we don't need to do it while it's hot because I don't want to like burn myself by splashing it, so we're just going to leave that to cool. Um, while this hot boils. Whew, now I can take a breath. <laughs> um, as always, exclamation mark recipe will bring up the recipe if you want to see what we're doing. We're going to make these, are, this is for the actual dumplings that go in the dumpling soup. Um, I don't know how I feel because that's going to be very fishy, that stock, and I don't know how I feel about that with the pork, but we're going to see because I'm using recipes from two different blogs. Um, so the one that the one that I'm using for the actual soup uses a fish sock, as you can see, and it also uses. They they recommend using shrimp dumpling, dumplings, but they're like you can use any dumplings, but shrimp dumplings will taste the best. But um, <laughs> she make chicken balls. Yeah, go for it. I'll put put that on my list. But I thought, I looked up another one because I didn't like the recipe, no, they suggested uh, buying dumplings and I was like, no, I want to make them on the stream because I think that would be fun. But the ones, uh, the only one they had on that blog was a kimchi one and I don't have any kimchi and I don't want to have to buy kimchi, so, but we will, um, we will make kimchi at some point. Golden one was like, don't bother, it's going to take so long, but I really want to try, like, I don't know, there's a cucumber kimchi recipe that my friend has, so I might try that. I know that kimchi takes a while, so, like, to ferment, so we might not, we might not, um, ah, <sighs> peace. We might not, um, I don't know, we just do it on half of a stream, we won't dedicate a whole stream to it, because it shouldn't, I don't know, it won't take a whole stream. I don't know. Um, also, update for people who've just come in. Joe is not feeling very well, he's very dizzy, which is what I had a couple of weeks ago, so I think he might have the same thing. It's like a it's like a flu, but it's not the flu because it's not as bad, but it's also not cold, it's like you're really really dizzy a lot. Um, so he's, I think he's getting that. So he's in the living room, so if, if he shouts on me I'm gonna have to go and help him because he can't stand up. So, just so you guys know, I might have to disappear momentarily now and then to help him, but he hasn't asked for any help yet, so we should be okay. Oh, yes, so the um, dumplings are going to have, is this so cold? Yeah, the dumplings are going to have pork and these. Oh yeah, I had that too, it was the worst. It was just, well, I, it was just as I like, I burned out because <laughs> I, I was pushing myself too hard and I burned out and because I was like, you know, 
down, it hit me then while my immune system was down, so it just, it was really bad. But I, it's okay, I'm fine now. And now I've got more iron in my system, everything's great. Because I'm taking iron supplements that are a lot stronger. They're not prescribed, but they're stronger than the ones you get in the shops. They're not illegal before anyone like thinks I'm illegally taking prescribed medication. I'm not. Chicken breast balls fried in matter. Yeah, that sounds like something I could do. This is taking ages to boil, but we'll get there in a second. Um, <laughs> that was such a weird noise. So yeah, we've got this. Actually, how are the dumplings doing? The dumplings. I mean, the the. This is the. We're using. I would call them gyoza wrappers, but they're just dumpling wrappers. They're any kind of dumpling, but they're still not quite defrosted. So once I've blanched these, I might just use the boiling water to like defrost them a bit more kind of makeshift, you know? Because we need them to be soft by the time we make the dumplings. Otherwise we can't use them. They can't still be frozen when we need them. Okay, I'm gonna say that's a simmer, currently. Um, so exciting, I made an exciting purchase for the stream, and I wasn't gonna say that I'd done it until it turned up. But I'll tell you guys, because you're here. I, because I talked about it as well, so it's not super secret, but um, I bought myself a little hob stove, a little, a little, a little gas stovetop thing. I don't know how big it is, it might be like as big as this whole counter, or it might just be this area, but it's for the stream and it's very, I'm very excited because it means I can show you stuff rather than being like, just trust me that the water's boiling, or having to get a third camera and like always have it pointed at the hob. It's like have a little hob we can put here so I can be like, doo -doo stuff on that and you can still see what I'm doing. Plus we can do like mukbangs in my room and keep the food hot and stuff, which is exciting. That's something I might do. Okay, that looks like it's boiling to me, so I'm gonna pop some of these in. Whoop. Whoop. Actually, how long did it say to blanch them for? Quick, 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 before they die. Wow, never mind. I'm not getting my recipe up. counting in my head. Uh, could you... I hate it when it scrolls back up to the top and I'm like, I have to get to the recipe! It just says blanch them, so it doesn't say how long, so I'm going to do it like for a couple more seconds and then pop them in the ice bath. Let's get something to take them out with as well. I'm gonna say that's long enough. I have a question. Do I have any old? What do you mean? <sighs> Messed up my hair. But now you can see better. Okay, let's pop in. Two more. doing it for a minute at a time. It's just easier to count that, isn't it? I don't know if this is still cold. So before we put the rest in, I'm gonna put some more. Ooh, put some more cold water in here. Hi, let me. Oh, thank you, Limping Lemon, and welcome. Welcome back, friend. I'll give you a recap in just a second about what we're doing. First, we're going to be sick. Hope he gets well soon. Yeah. 
it's not doing so well. But that's okay. I mean, it's not okay, but he's hope. I don't think he's that bad. He's just not having a good evening. One, I just dropped that. Look at it and get splashed. Two, and three. Timer, start. Okay. So, what's happening right now is we are blanching um, these little mini bok choys and then popping them in a nice bath. And then we're gonna chop them all up um, and yeah, I think I need, some of these are softer than the, like others, so I need to get them with the right softness. And then we're gonna chop them all up and we're gonna mix them with some pork mince and we're going to make some dumplings for this dumpling soup. I've already made the stock. I didn't realize how quick it would be. I really thought it would take me ages. Um, but we made the stock and I got the eggs. <laughs> I forgot to get eggs. Oh dear. Um, we were supposed to go do our weekly shop by now, but we just haven't done it. So I'd forgotten that the eggs in the weekly shop were for this, not for normal egg consumption. I also need to get eggs for Sunday because we're making egg bread and that's like four eggs um, for just that one thing. Okay. I'm gonna say that's soft enough. Ah! Oh no. Well, we've got two attached to each other. Okay, we shouldn't, you know, we should just be able to do one more batch. Put them in. And start the timer. Mandaguk. Mandaguk. I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, I have food here. And now we're gonna then we're gonna use the um the hot water to defrost the rest of the gyoza skins because I totally forgot to defrost them because I'm really forgetful. Um, but how have you been, Limping Lemon? I should have asked that when you came in. I thought I thought wrong. You were cooking bulgogi. Cool. I was gonna um, make some bulgogi next week, but I'm waiting for. I need to buy a uh, dulce, which is like a special bowl, but they didn't have one in the Asian supermarket and I don't really want to get one online because they're really expensive. Flying home next week. Oh, that's, that's, that's nice, I think. Is that nice? Sister lives on the building. Pop that in there. I don't want it to melt with plastic. So maybe don't pop it in. Maybe just hover it above. Is it not plastic? Whatever, good. I'm just holding it above the steam right now, so you can defrost it a bit. And then we'll get on with it. Okay. I don't really want to do any more than that. Oh good, it didn't melt the plastic. That's good. I didn't want to have plastic in my... Oh, she orders it. I see her, we almost lost her from an illness. Oh no, that's so bad. That's awful. I'm really glad you're getting to see her. That's really nice. I'm actually going to go see my mom soon too. So, I know those feels. That's still very frozen. It'll do. Okay. Right, so. We're going to... Okay, that's not boiling so I can touch it. We're going to chop these up. We're going to drain them first. Um, and then we're gonna, we're gonna mix up the dumplings. So it shouldn't take too long. 
These still feel pretty frozen, but... Yeah. I don't know if I can get into this easily. So like I said, these are... I would call them gyoza wrappers because they're round, but they're basically just dumping wrappers that are round. There are two, like, types of dumping wrappers. Two shapes. Not two shapes. Round and square. And two types white and yellow and I got the the white ones because those are the ones it said I needed to get however these are completely frozen solid so <laughs> nope I don't really know how to defrost these quickly I don't want to put them in the water I don't know. What do I do? I'll leave that in there for a second. Um, because I don't know if the plastic will melt in the water. Okay, Zoe, thanks for stopping by. Okay, so I'm gonna um, drain these and then pop them on the chopping board as I drain them. So she eats out several times a week and often has bulgogi. Bulgogi. Well, that's something I'd like to try and make before the end of the month. I don't have any hot towels. Um, I have to boil some water, I think. I mean, I have boiling water there, so. Boop. Sad little baby bok choy. Well, you keep watching, and you'll find out. If you type um, exclamation mark food or someone else does it, um, it'll have the recipe that I'm following. It is in English, but so it's what? I've been sorry. I have songs stuck in my head. I know it's very infuriating that I keep singing. Ah, <sighs> peace. I've got my, I have to open my window because it's so steamy in here from all of the boiling water. You're a tea shape with baby pop choy. I don't know, but I'd love that if that were true. Squeezing out the bok choy, na na na. Um, this part, or just the leafy part, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna see how it works. Okay. Right. <sighs> and now I can come back to you guys. Um, I put the plastic, I put the little thing of gyoza wrappers in the, uh, oh no, all the from the skip. I did wonder if that was a, yeah, a joke, like a, like a fake name. Okay, this seems to be okay. The plastic doesn't seem to be melting, so I'm just gonna leave that in the hot water. It's no longer on the stove. It's not gonna be boiling. <sighs> Where clubs said one of the DJs baby walk show it was supposed to be a natural baby. <laughs> okay. Um, so, recipe for the dumplings. 
says, um, chop very finely and then put the vegetables. Wait, is that all the vegetables? Yeah, we're good. I didn't, I didn't miss anything. We're good. Um, all, chop these very finely, mix them with the pork, the wine, the oil, sesame oil, the salt, soy sauce, the white pepper and water. But we will get to that when we get to that. And then it says to like put a spoon in it and just go until it's mixed because it's, you mix it for a while. <laughs> Which is good, because we have to wait for the dumpling skins to defrost. So let's get to chopping. I know this is very whited out. So I'm trying to like, I'm chopping it really fine because it says to, you know, you have to mix it with the pork and we don't want it to be like, pork mince is very fine, it's ground pork, you know. We don't want that to be too, um, let me fix this camera. I'm, I'm not actually that, I don't really like spicy food, but I realize a lot of Korean food is spicy, so I'm trying stuff. I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to just do the leaves. Hmm. No, it doesn't say that. Let's just chop the leaves first and then we'll oh, it smells so seaweedy in here. Sorry about that everyone. It's really hard for me to get this right because the, the settings are different on the uh, like the settings on OBS open up as something different now on the cameras. I know it's hard to explain, like if you don't. If you don't stream yourself or if you don't have the same cameras as me you won't really know what i'm talking about but um not very strong right i don't think i've ever actually had it <laughs> on its own like i've i've had it in parts of things but like never in a way where i could taste it you smells like Leafy green. It's not as strong as spinach. I'm gonna say that. Yeah, they look like they're defrosting. Good. So, do you like Korean food then, Vice Palm? It's a flavor, yeah, it's a flavor that can get lost. I like the way you phrased that. I definitely agree with that. I'm gonna go through it again with the knife in a second, make sure it's not like clumping up. Whoop. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna make a bunch of dumplings. Probably like a lot of dumplings. Um, probably more than I've got the actual skin for, so I'll have to save some and then I come back to it. Um, and then we're gonna cook the ones that we need for the soup. What choice vegetables? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna cook the ones we need for the soup and then we'll just freeze the rest. Also, I'm gonna say now What I'm gonna say now is that um, I'm not really super keen on boiled dumplings and I realize that that's what's in the dumpling soup. So please uh, bear that in mind when I say how I feel at the end. I'm, I'm more of a fry, pan fried gyoza type of girl, pan fried dumplings type of girl rather than a boiled. I just don't like the texture that the skins get, but I'm hoping that like 
in a suit, it won't be so weird. Like, because it'll be like, it'll all be wet. Rather than just like having a dumpling that is like splodgy and gross. To get slimy. Yeah, they're not. I'm not really a fan. <laughs> I didn't bring that one out enough. I just don't like the texture of like, because usually the dumpling filling is also just like, you know, it's a paste of some kind because that's easiest to make into a dumpling. It's like, you know, mince that's all like smushed up until it's basically smooth. Um, and there's no like, there's nothing chunky or crunchy. So it's just, the texture is just like smush and then more smush and it's like, <laughs> At least that's my personal opinion. But I'm thinking maybe in a soup it might not be bad because I'll be expecting it. I don't know. I'm sure there's logic in there somewhere. Okay, so this is all the leafy parts. But like, it suggested using cabbage, Napa cabbage. So I feel like, look at all that liquid. Let me just squeeze some of that out. Um. So I think that having some like solid parts is gonna be okay. Cause Napa cabbage isn't as much of a green, a leafy green. So. I'm just squeezing it out. What? Don't hold something hot. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Do you know touch hot things? So much liquid in this, oh my god. It's like spinach. I hate blanching spinach because it's just like, I'm just gonna be liquid <laughs> everywhere. It's gonna leak liquid out for the rest of the recipe. Oh god, I keep just getting wafts of that dashi and it just smells like the seaside, which is nice because it's nostalgic for me. But you know, hold on a second. Can I, can I, can I do something? Before I put that back, let me just try and do something. Okay, we're gonna have to go with this bright. I'm gonna chef in the house in fancy. Oh, cool. Let's get a bit of paper towel and get some more of this liquid up. You just can't see anything. It's just, oh, that's a bit better. I don't know, that's gonna really bother me. I thought we'd fixed the camera issue with the new settings, but I really haven't. Oh god, look how wet that is. That's just instant. Yeah, it looks good when I have it on the auto exposure, but then as soon as I put this under it, it just blows it out. Oh, I'm sorry. I think you guys are talking at cross purposes. God, it's so much liquid, it's so gross. It did look good, but then it just doesn't work. So look, if I, now if I turn on the auto exposure, let me show you what happens. See? That'll do. Okay. So much liquid. There we go. Okay, let's chop up the rest of the bok choy, huh? No, you can't see what I'm doing. Oh my God. Mm. Wasting all this paper towel. Really shouldn't be using paper towel. Look at that. Oh, you can't. <laughs> it's so blown out. Okay. I swear this is the last thing I'm gonna do, but I need, you guys can't even see what I'm doing right now, so I need to turn the brightest to me. Okay. I'm back to the stream. <laughs> it's like so wet. I think I'd rather it was flickering and you guys see what I could do, can see what I'm doing. I want to try all recipes of bok choy. Oh, you like bok choy? That's cool.
Minor flicker. Okay, if it's not that distracting, then we'll just leave it there because I don't think I can get it any better than that without you guys not being able to see what I'm doing. And if you can see this, that's the most important part, being able to see what I'm doing. Trying to get this nice and small, but it's really it's quite hard because it's so moist. Um, you can cook now. I will hear your comment. I'm sure you'll be a housewife. I don't think I understand what you mean. Okay, so the recipe says I need to add like a bit of water to the dumpling mix, but in all honesty, I don't think I'm going to bother because of how wet this this veg still is. Like it says to, to like squeeze all the liquid out of it, but it's really hard. So don't use this bit of how to cut, don't use this as a instruction how to cut bok choy because I'm kind of just smushing it into pieces. Like I said, I keep getting a whiff of that, like, of the kelp I mean, like, oh my god, it smells like childhood. I wake up at 3 a.m. Oh my goodness. Well, I feel very honored that you came to watch the stream. That's enough and use your dumpling. I mean, I've still got all these other bok choys to cut, so. I have a lot of mints to go with this. Like this is less than it's supposed to be. Because it was like 400 grams or something and it's supposed to be like one and a half kilograms. So. I'm just hoping that like the other stuff that goes in the dumpling mix is going to be strong enough that it won't just taste like bok choy and pork. That was not very appealing to me. And I'm going to have to eat a lot of these, so I want it to be nice. I mean, you know why I would give it, does it, have, does it, oh it does kind of, I see what you mean, but it's okay because the, the, the dash, the, the stock that we're using, the dashy stock, is fish stock, so it should be fine.
So I think people should implement the Twitch should implement. You know how um, if you, the channel you're watching is like mature, the streamer can like tag it so it comes up with a warning before you start watching? They should have that with like if someone's playing a game that could cause seizures, then they should have the same kind of thing. Don't you think? Right, I'm just gonna go strain out a little bit more of this liquid because it's kind of too much. But I'll chuck these out in the food recycling first. enough for me. The course continues. Yeah, like they should they should do that. Like I mean obviously I don't know, it might it might be quite difficult, but maybe it could just be an automatic thing if you're playing a certain game. Because there are gonna be a lot of games that do it, but there'll be some games that are way, way worse than others, you know? The lights in the commercial flash too much and kids got sick. I think I think I heard about that. Right, so. Woo! We did it! We fixed it! I just had to change the, the FPS on the camera. And it's all done, I hope. I hope it won't start again. Um, okay, now we can officially get back to the recipe and stop being annoyed at that. Finally. Okay, so we need to just basically combine everything else now. Um, so. Here's our big bowl for combining all of the dumpling stuff. I'm just gonna give it a quick dry. Um, is that better? Like, it looks fine for me, but if you guys can still see a problem with it, please let me know, because I want it to be perfect. You know, the amount of time, how long I waited for this, uh, this laptop. I don't want there to be like any issues that I can immediately solve. Like, I want everything to be. Anyway, let's, I'm just gonna leave them in there until we need them. Let's combine, shall we? Soy, 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 fish, mushroom sauce, and garlic. Ooh, yummy. Okay. Um, we need to put in the meat. Let's just find the recipe. Let's just go back up. Okay. So I'm gonna chuck in this, which is very wet. So we're not gonna bother putting in the uh, water that it asks for, because that's incredibly wet. Take this away. in this. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Get the little piece of paper off quick. There we go. Okay, so we've got pork, we've got uh, the bok choy. We're gonna add in the wine, oil, and everything else. Again, I'm really sorry about how much I was like distracted. No, it's pork actually, it's pork mince. Um, ground pork. I don't know if there's a difference between mince and something being mince and something being ground, but. Um, right, so we've got sesame oil, we've got the cooking wine, just regular old vegetable oil, soy sauce, Salt, white pepper. I'll get those out too. And this isn't very often that this is actually the case, but we are actually using Korean soy sauce. Like, 
I mean, not, I always use Korean soy sauce because it's the, the biggest one in the shop, but normally I'm making a Japanese recipe and I'm like, oh, it's the wrong kind of soy sauce. Um, did I get everything? Whoop. Let me just check. The Shaojing wine, which I'm probably butchering, oil, sesame oil, salt, soy sauce. Cool. Now I'll just get my measuring cups. Perfect, the third of the cup, that's what we need. Right. Um, Hokkai. So we need to, I'm gonna maybe half everything because, <laughs> also this random woman is just an ad on my phone, so we can do that. Um, Cause I don't know if we've really got enough of everything and we can just cook one and then we can add more of the sauces, but we can't really, we can't add any more meat or vegetables because that's all I've got. So, um, I'm going to add one third of a cup of the wine. We want to know what you used. Sorry? Well, hold on. Um, this is, I'm going to show you each thing individually, but that's the recipe, in case you're wondering. Oh, goodness. There we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh. I think that's supposed to happen. Wow, that stuff smells strong. Okay. I have so much, like, stuff that I bought for one recipe, and I'm not going to use. Maybe at the end of the month we should be like, let's use everything we've got left. <laughs> so this is the Shaojing wine. Um, close this properly, and then I can show you the bottle. Ta-da! It's rice wine, and uh, but it's like... It's not the same as rice, the, the regular rice wine vinegar that you get. It's like cooking rice wine. So, one third of a cup of this. We should probably start mixing it, shouldn't we? Spoon. Oh wow, that looks wet. I'm sure it won't be so, so bad when it's all mixed together. <laughs> it smells, smells very boozy. Um, like I said, they kind of say in the recipe to just stick the spoon in and go until it all comes together. So I'm just going to start mixing until the liquid stops being so sloshy. Like I said, also not adding that water in because... There is no point. I bought a fish sauce for a recipe six months ago and I only called for Yeah. I have fish sauce, but it's because my friend gave me some. She was like, I'm not going to be having fish sauce anymore. I'm going vegetarian, so you can have it. I was like, oh, okay. I mean, I'm going to need it for stuff, but it was just like, I haven't actually bought it myself. Okay. And I think that's all incorporated. Yeah, the sesame, everything else is going to go in. I'm just making sure it's all mixed through first because like, I didn't want to make it too wet. It's quite wet, but hopefully it'll be fine once it's cooked. Okay, so uh, now we need to put in a half cup of oil. I'm gonna get my quarter cup, since we're halving everything. I don't know where it is, so give me a second. Oh, that was easy. Just put my hand in the cupboard and I pull it out. Okay, uh, so we're just gonna use vegetable oil. Um, it doesn't specify any particular kind of oil, which is using bog standard vegetable oil. Hey, thanks for those bits, Daddy! <laughs> There's a lot of oil. That is very oily. But I'm sure it's not when it's all mixed in. So remember that we have a lot less vegetables than we're supposed to, so 
I'm just gonna kind of go by eye for the like the consistency. So I'm gonna pop this this oil back because I don't think we need that much because of the the amount of vegetables we actually have. Oh. Okay, guys, give me a second. I heard a noise. Sorry about that, everyone. Joe dropped something and he couldn't get it back. So. So it even just sits unused. Okay, and then we need three tablespoons of sesame oil. I'm not gonna do that much. Uh, one table, one tablespoon of salt. What? And three tablespoons of soy sauce. Okay, I'm gonna do one sesame oil and one of soy sauce, and then a shake. Oh, I didn't get the white pepper out. I knew I'd forgotten something. Okay. Thank you for the follow, Vitus. Vitus? Thank you so much. Welcome in. Well, I'm running out of soy sauce. I need to get some more. Bloop. And that's all I'm going to put in. Um, I'm going to put in a little bit of salt, actually, and a little bit of pepper. But not very much because this is already quite, like, flavorful. <laughs> my white pepper, sorry about this. One of these days I'm gonna get all of the ingredients out before the stream, but that is day is not today. A little bit of white pepper. A little bit of salt. Come on, come on. There we go, that's probably enough. Um, I'm gonna pop everything over here so it's easy to access if I need more, but it's not in my way. Move the cups and everything as well. There we go. Now we kind of want the mince to become a paste. We don't want it to be like actually strands of mince. We just want it to. Oh my god, that smells amazing. Oh, that smells so good. And it's not even cooked yet. But I think that's, I don't think we should add any more liquid because that's like, that is so liquidy. Also, I'm sorry about the, if there's a frame rate drop, it's because it's set quite low so that we can, you can actually see what I'm doing without the flickering getting in the way. These actually, this looks so good. What do you mean finally? I can take my time. <laughs> um, okay, so I think, yeah, this, the, I don't think I'm gonna have enough wrappers for this, but that's okay, because I know where to get more. There's no problem. And we can just put this like in the freezer or something, or even in the fridge until I buy more, because I probably buy more next week. I, <laughs> I tend to like, I, um, I, we were talking about this, me and my friend today, but I think the people in the um, the Asian supermarket are gonna know me, like, they're gonna know me <laughs> because I go in pretty much every week at this rate because I'm always getting stuff for the stream. So <laughs> they're gonna be like, hmm, it's that pink haired girl again. Sometimes they talk to me and sometimes they just like, you know, they just do the job and that's that. Which is totally understandable, like, when I worked in hospitality, sometimes you don't wanna have, you don't wanna have a conversation with people, you just wanna get on with your job. So I'm not blaming them at all. Okay. Discount time, yeah. I'm a regular, give me a discount. Please. They also have like a, a huge like warehouse, not not huge, but it's a warehouse next door where they like, you know, bulk, they sell like wholesale vegetables and stuff. And there's been times I'm like, I wonder, I wonder how to make an account with them so I can like just get a, a big bunch of like cabbage. I'm never gonna need that much cabbage, but you know, it'll be fun. Okay, we're gonna uh, actually, I think we can just go straight into making the dumplings now. Um, yeah, that's it. We just, everything's combined. Oh wait, I need to mix it a bit more. It says mix it for six to eight minutes. I don't think I've mixed it that much. But it's a lot more mince to, to vegetable ratio than I expected, <laughs> so, um, okay, I'm gonna need to get a plate. The plates are underneath the camera. <laughs> uh, 
down to the edge, put a little bit of a, put a little less than a tablespoon of filling in the middle. Yeah, I know how to do this, I think. The dumpling, the actual like, the wrapping shape is a bit different, so I'm gonna... Okay. Fold the skin over twice on each side. What? Okay, I'm gonna do it step by step when I've got a dumpling in my hand. Um, I don't need to, I don't need to use, I don't need to use a plate. I'll use a baking tray. That way if I have a lot of extra, I can just put the baking tray in the freezer. Smart. Think with your head. Pop the baking tray on here, because it's no longer hot. Make it shape into a patty and grill in a pan. Oh. Yum, 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 I tried to make something like that once. Um, oh, it's this long story, and I like got really mad at my dad because I was making it for Joe. I think I might have actually started cooking these. I was making, um, I made, decided to make a chicken burger thing. For me and Joe started dating, I wanted to cook him something for our anniversary, for our, our six month anniversary. Um, so I decided to make him this like chicken burger, and um, Second, I need to chop this with my knife. And I was like, I can't find any chicken mints. And my dad was like, oh, just chop, just chop chicken really, really small. Ooh, it's starting to stick together. Yeah, I shouldn't have put it in the water for as long as I did. Oh well, um, just chop chicken with a knife really, really small. Cause I was gonna blend it. And he was like, no, you don't need to do that. Just chop it really small. That doesn't work. That doesn't work unless you chop it for hours and hours. And then I was like, okay, I need sushi rice for the bun because I was gonna make like a weird rice bun thing. And um, and, and he was like, oh no, no, just use regular rice. You don't need it to be sushi rice. You just need to like, like wash it in a certain way. Didn't work. It ended up falling apart and just became this weird stir fry thing. And I'm really disappointed. I'm gonna remake that at some point. Okay, so I need some water so we can dampen the edges. Okay, just trying to get everything in the right place. Okay, so the recipe says there are several ways to do the next wrapping step, but the easiest way for first timers is to pinch. Oh, wait, I should put the stuff on the first first. Put the stuff on the first first. That's not a sentence. <laughs> like a tablespoon, less than a tablespoon? little less than a tablespoon, so I think that's probably about enough. This is a tablespoon. Um, dampen the edge. Oh, I didn't put enough water in there. <laughs> Time to do everything one-handed with the wrapper in my hand. Okay, 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 right. Now we're ready. Okay, dampen the edge. I have done this before, but not in this shape. So this might this might take me a little bit of practice. Okay, then put a bit of filling in. The best way for first timers is to pinch the wrapper in half. And then fold the skin, oh, like this. I think. I think that's what they mean by fold it over twice. Like that. Can you see that? Does that, that look okay? I mean, it's not perfect, but I think it's, it's quite good for a first one. Especially because these are going to go in a, in a soup, so we need them to make, make sure they're not actually going to burst. So put the water on the outside. Did I miss anything else? And at the end it will kind of, oh no, that's not how they did it. Okay, try it again, try it again, make it a bit better. That's what I've made before. It doesn't it doesn't look like that. Gyoza is like fold in half and then pinched. I did it slightly differently, but you're right. I still didn't do it perfect. I didn't do what they wanted. Okay, so pinch in the middle. I'm trying to follow the end picture instead of, oh no, I put in too much filling. <laughs> Take that out. Put in too much filling. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Fixed it. So pinch it in the middle and then 
They like fall. Oh no, it's already stuck together. This one isn't gonna work. This is gonna be my test one. Fold it over like that and then fold it over like that. So it's kind of like a little fan. Is it like that on both sides? <laughs> no, like the back is flat and the front, okay, okay. <laughs> See, I had a, I had a plan all like set up for how I was gonna fold these, and then I ended up getting the round ones instead of the square ones because I didn't have any square wrappers left. So I'm just having to like follow the original recipe, which wasn't what I was gonna do. I was gonna um, do this little rosebud one. No, okay, this is this is not working, and I'm touching the raw meat with my fingers, so I'm disliking this. <laughs> E. Yeah, gyoza is just Japanese. Though that's what I'm used to making. Whenever I make dumplings, I usually make gyoza. But um, this time I'm attempting to make man mandu. But again, we we can see that it's not going so well. I think we might just make the like the first one because this is no. I don't give up so quickly, there, Lara. We can try. You're braver than me, I just picked it before. Yeah, that's what I usually do. Like when I like I said, like when I'm doing gyoza, I normally just um oh, I put this on my towel, damn it. <laughs> um I normally just like fold it over and then crimp it like you would with a um Cornish pasty. Okay, don't leave you can't have your hands wet because then they'll just stick to the pastry. Okay. Dampen the edge. Less than a tablespoon. Pinch it in the middle and then fold over twice. Like that. It's harder to recreate on this side. And then fold over twice. Mm, we're getting better. We're getting better. I don't know if it's hard to see the detail. My my screen's like getting kind of orange, so I don't know if it's hard for you guys to see the detail, but that one's okay. That's the what I think that's what they want, but like less ha haphazard, like more intentional, you know? But that's okay. I'm just learning. This is my first time making mandu, so I think it's okay. Now, these are all kind of stuck together because they got hot. But I was defrosting them and I went too far. So give me a second. There we go. The edges are stuck together, but the rest of it's intact. Okay. These are actually gyoza wrappers, but like, it's like the same regardless. Like I said, there were egg, there were like yellow ones, which I believe have egg in them. And then there's these ones, which don't. Pinch. Fold over twice. Oh no, <laughs> that's not quite right. Fold over twice. And also bursting. And we have to be really careful when they start bursting like this because I've put too much filling in because that means that they're just gonna, they're not gonna be sealed properly because it's like meat. And oh, that one's a mess. Let's just, let's just fold that one up. <laughs> Pretend that's not happening, huh? Let's just, let's just, um, let's just, let's just not make this one. I'm just gonna put this one here. <laughs> yeah, it's like less than a tablespoon, that's what they said. In the recipe. My apron. This is probably actually dry now. Let's take that off the towel so I can use my towel. 
Yeah, it's a tablespoon, don't worry. Okay. Let's get the framing of this a bit better so you can see what I'm doing. We haven't even started making the actual soup yet. We've made the stock and we made we're making the dumplings, but we've got a lot a long way to go. And it's nor it's about half an hour from when I normally stop the stream, but we're not gonna stop because I started late, so we're not gonna stop until the manduguk is made. Oh wow, okay. This is really badly stuck together because I am awful. <laughs> there we go. That's actually two, but they're so stuck together. That would be a waste. Yeah. Plus it'd be really, really tiny. So yeah, imagine this, but like it's like filled out to a square. Cause that's how big the, the square sheet should have been. Aha, there we go. Fantastiche. I'm actually annoyed because I went to a friend's and I was like, can we put these in the freezer so they don't go? I should have just asked her to put them in the fridge. Cause then they would have been defrosted by the time I got home. But you know. Yeah. Sorry, I realize that's probably. Normally, you'll stop playing head of water. Okay, I don't think I understand what you're saying. I like how they said this was the easiest method for doing the dumplings for newbies. I'm like, I don't know, friend. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with your recipe, but it's not easy for me. But again, I am used to making gyoza, so you know. <laughs> We're getting worse somehow. I don't know how many dumplings I need for the soup. Let's, shall we find out how many dumplings we need for the soup before we continue? Eight. We need eight. But those are the big ones. So I'm going to say four per person and this recipe is supposed to make enough for four people so I'm gonna say 16 that we have to make now <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm gonna cook one up um, so we can taste it I should have probably just done that with the first one I made my, my frying pan's not clean <laughs> I don't think you can we're just gonna have to wing it um, I obviously can't eat that raw can I I mean actually hold on I can fry them in this. So I'm gonna heat that up, we're gonna make a couple more, and then we're gonna fry the really messed up one, and we're gonna taste it. If you cannot take dumpling skin. Well like this. Oh no, they're stuck together, which is why I can't take them. Um, so it's, it's a bit of a struggle. is real right now. I like how on the stream recently I've been trying to have like aesthetically pleasing like nice food pictures for Instagram and I'm just making this. This is a mess. I mean I can cut off the edges. It looks a bit better. <laughs> this looks so bad. Make sure it's stuck together. I'm just gonna pop that on there with the others. We're gonna get that heated up, that pan. Um, 
and we're gonna pan fry one and we're gonna see how it tastes. And if it tastes like okay, we'll leave it. But if it tastes, doesn't taste like if it's missing something, we've got we can add more soy sauce or something. Because they recommend that you do that in the recipe. Because they're like, you might have put in more meat than we did. You might have put in more soy sauce than we did. You might have like put in a stronger soy sauce than we used. So like cook one and see see how it goes. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna make eleven more um, at least. And then we can we can actually make the soup and then I might continue to make them while the soup's cooking so we've got something to look at. Um, we also have to strain the dashi. I haven't done that yet. Um, this is the cloth. It has been washed, but there are some parts where the orange peel didn't come out. Because last time we used this was when we were straining the blood orange. Um, so we're going to have to be careful about which parts that we use. But most of it's clean. So we just like, there's a couple of bits that have orange still on it. A little bit of staining. So, okay, so this is... Yeah, that's that's hot enough, so I'm gonna put some oil in there. And we're gonna cook up the messy one. Um, oh, thank you guys. I'm glad that you liked it, even though it was the one that I messed up the most. What does it smell? Hopefully it's just like the hot metal. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I know that the way to cook them is to pan fry them until they're like golden. And then I need to find the lid, but you're supposed to put some water in and then put the lid on so they steam. Um, nope, that's the water boiling off that was still in the pan. Just gonna wait for that to stop. It doesn't splash me. Okay. See you in a bit. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna pop in this really messy. Oh no, okay, it's still going. It's still doing its thing. And I'm gonna ask Joe what you think, because it's really messy. It's gonna explode in the pan which is why we're doing it in this. You can't hear the voice? Like me. Hey, let me learn. Okay, I put that in the hot oil. It wasn't hot. It wasn't hot enough because it's not hissing, but whatever. Um, Yes, yeah, so we're gonna let that do its thing. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna let that fry until it's golden. And then we're gonna put some water in, put the lid on so it cooks in the steam. And then we're gonna taste it. We're gonna see if it's nice. If it is nice, we're gonna um, continue with our plan. If it isn't nice, we'll figure out what's wrong with it. Hopefully it's just like soy sauce or something so we can add a bit more. And then um, we can continue making some more dumplings because today, today is a dumpling stream. We're gonna make a lot of dumplings. Um, we need 16 for, I mean, we don't need 16 because I'm probably only gonna have two servings, but you know. Um, how do you actually cook the dumplings in the soup? Let's find out. So we boil the stock Add the soy sauce and the garlic. I need to chop garlic. Um, once it's boiling, add the dumplings. Boil them until they're cooked, which is two to three minutes. And then make egg. Make egg drop soup with it. Add green onion. Oh, I need to chop. Okay, I need to chop green onion and garlic before we start. No, 16. Stick 16. <laughs> Not 60. I'm probably gonna make 60, but we only need 60. I decided, like it says you need eight. Um, in the recipe it says you need eight dumplings to serve four people. But, um, okay, I'm gonna leave it a couple more minutes. You need eight dumplings to serve four people, but they're using the big dumplings and we're making little dumplings. So I thought we could use four dumplings 
per person, so that's 16 in total. But again, I'm probably only going to be having one or two servings of this tonight, so we don't need to have all of those done. Um, but we might as well, because we're going to have to cook the whole stock anyway, so. Okay, this, it looks like it's crisping up a little bit on the bottom. Let me show you. Oh. I'm trying to flip it. See that really. yeah. Sorry if that was too loud on the, on the microphone. It kind of went a bit mad when I tipped it. Okay, we're gonna add the water, wait for the steam. Oh, I'm a uh, 22. That's okay, it's in my it's in my description, so like it's not like a secret. <laughs> so that's gonna boil, that's gonna do its thing, and I'm gonna um we should maybe strain the dashi. I don't know. When should I don't know when we should do that. We should probably do that now. Um so I need another container that I can strain it into. So I'm gonna say I think I have a, a stock with a Measuring jug. Ooh. I think Joe's on the move. Um, yeah, there it is. And the, the, the uh, dashi is now cold, so we can use this because it's plastic. Hey, thanks, Oz, and welcome. Welcome. Your loud voice, but my country has very. Oh, it's very noisy. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that music too quiet for you guys? It's like really low down on this song for some reason. I have the music quite low, so that it doesn't distract me. Maybe it's just that one song, let's see. Okay, it's actually quite low, let's turn it back. Okay, so recap, because Oz has arrived, so we need to do a recap. Um, we're making dumplings, we're making dumpling soup. Oh, hold on a second, Joe's the door. Like there's a joke. Yeah, I have a, st I have a smoke yeah. effect for your entrance. So that's the okay. That should be done in a minute, actually. Have a sniff of this. Don't hit it, obviously. Or a lot of pain. I know. I'm trying to distract you. Like Sounds like tea side, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Because lots of the right, we're gonna have a. Oh no! Can't I, catch a break. Can't he's catch sick all day. As soon as he's able to actually stand up. <laughs> All that you've got left. Mm -hmm. um, okay, let's use these so I can actually put the. Pan. Those gyoza look so nice, even though they haven't even been cooked. Yet. They're not gyoza, they're mandu. Someone told me off. I didn't call them gyoza, but someone was like, they're not gyoza. Because they're Korean. Oh! Right. So, I gyoza thought... is Japanese, mandu is Korean, uh, wonton mm -hmm. is Japanese. I mean, I... Chinese even. I thought gyoza was just like the general blanket term. Nah. Don't blanket term. Well, that shows what I know about cooking. Yes, this is Joe of Ice Palm. Hello. Oh wow, the stream is dropping. Give me a second. That's probably me from a pure raw track of everything. Wow, okay, <laughs> don't say that again. Um, yeah, so anyway, I was trying to do a recap before Joe came in and hurt himself. Not that it's his fault. Because <laughs> I sounded said that like it was his fault. What are you doing? Getting scissors for you. Use the scissors. Those are kitchen scissors. Use the scissors in my room. No, <laughs> they probably have bacon on them. Probably yeah, want to steal them. Yeah, um, yes. So uh, we are making dumplings. We're making dumpling soup. So the dump. I have one dumpling cooking so that I can taste it and see if it's okay. Would you be able to stay and have a try of this when it's done? Yeah. Okay. Um, 
taste it to see if I need to add anything else before we cook all of them. We've also made uh, homemade dashi, which is stock, it's Korean dashi, made with kelp and dried anchovies. Oh, but it just that's, that's what those are. It just smells like the seaside. Yeah, from dried anchovies. Um, could you actually tip them into that bowl because I don't want them to stick into the sieve. Um, yeah, so the kelp made the whole the whole kitchen smell like the seaside, which smells like my childhood. Because it smells like cold seaweed, which is how the seaside smells in Scotland. Um, yeah. So yeah, we're, we're just cooking this little dude, we're waiting for this guy to, to cook, and I'm actually going to strain the stock while we're here. Um, but that, there you go, update. Just give you an update. I think I have a command for that actually, but I don't know what it is. I forgot what it is. But I have a command that they, you can type and I, I'll, it'll tell me that you want to know where we are at at the recipe and I'll go through it with you. This is almost cooked. Not quite. How's the new laptop holding? Oh, hey! Oh! Hey, Luca, right in his heart. All, all bits of sympathy for Joe's arm. Mm. <laughs> Thank you he very much it. for those bits, Oz. He needs it. Um, Struggling with my eyes. I really don't know. I've been so tired, like, I just suddenly got hit with tired. I wonder if it's another sickness coming on. Yeah. Get down with the sickness! Get like, down, get back down with the sickness! I got to, like, before the second show today, and I was just like, I feel like, like, a, like a tactical chunder might be in order. Oh, uh, don't say that. Ooh, uh, we're cooking! Okay. Okay, I think this is almost done. I'm gonna strain the stock. So yeah, this was uh, dried kelp and dried anchovies in here. It sounds kind of disgusting, but it's literally just like a fish stock. Okay, please don't, please don't do what I think you're gonna do. Oh no, it's good. Just take it slow. I've been thinking about this a lot recently, and I really think we should start like crowdsourcing a movie where every character is played by Owen Wilson. Why? It's so weird. I think I got out all the anchovy particles, which is the point of this. Maybe there's a little bit, but it's okay. So, Hello, Vice Palm. Excuse me, How are you? Look at me being sociable over the internet. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. But yes, the new laptop, since you asked, is doing very well. It's still going red occasionally. Did I ask? Um, you did. You said how's the laptop holding up. Did I? Yeah. Oh. Did you forget? I don't remember saying that. And uh, the only issue was the camera settings. Mm -hmm. I must have spent about half an hour trying to fix them during the stream. I kept stopping to fix them because it was flickering or it was really, really bright and I couldn't get it to stop. But I fixed it now. So it's okay and you guys can see what I'm doing, which was the point. So... Excuse me, I need to put this over. Sorry. I don't want to hurt you. So, here's our little dumpling. Oh wow, it's just steamed up the camera. <laughs> it's very, very wet because it's been boiled and I don't like... I, you know, I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna... I'm Much like the weather here in Scotland, huh? Am I right? I'm so worried about standing on your toes. That's okay. Hand no. on, are you making a soup? Uh, no, uh, Lara's making dumplings. Not no, dumplings, I am making um, a soup. I'm making a dumpling soup, but I'm cooking one of the dumplings to see how it tastes before we cook the rest of them. Yeah, it's fun to, fun to cook. Oh, I see. I thought I told you that. So I'm just going to pan fry it again because it looks kind of sad and sloppy. It doesn't look like the temperature is hot enough. It's kind of like the moisture. No, you the pan. It looks like the moisture is coming out of it as opposed to like being seared. No, there was there was water in the pan. Oh, right, okay. Oh no, that's too much. Do you want heat. Heat. Oh, you use a wine jang, man. Yes, wine jang a little. Oh. No, I just use this actually, because it's already used, so. But thank you. Okay. We're now going to taste it, because we're tasting the filling. This is the point of this experiment. Careful of the hog, it's hot. That looks cooked to me. That is hot, so we can give give it a couple of minutes before we eat it. 
having it egg fried rice, I've been told to use chicken stock. Where would you put the chicken stock in? I don't know how you would, I mean, would you do that, would I you would, cook the rice in it? I don't really understand. That's what I would assume, if you're... Yeah, well you cook the rice prior to egg, to egg fried rice. Mm. So I just use rice that I've already used for something, like I've already made for something else. Mm. Interesting. So. That'll be quite tasty actually. Delish. Okay, so mm. this is the... Yeah, chicken stock when you're cooking the rice. I've never considered that. That's a good idea. Because we've only ever made so. chicken fried rice with leftover rice. Yeah. We've never actually. You mean chicken fried rice? You said chicken fried rice. Did I? Yeah. Oh man, mine, mine is like fuzz today. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Right, I don't know how. I'll... So what's in it? Okay. Walk me through what's in it. Uh, pork mince, bok choy, mini bok choys, uh, and a bunch of seasonings that are sitting over there so you can look at them. Okay. But so, yeah? Is it... I was told off for this today okay. by one of the other cast members. Okay. I said pork. Yeah. And he's like, no, it's pork. I'm like, no, it's pork. It's, pork. it's whatever... I mean, it depends on your dialect. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm from the top of Scotland, so it's going to be pork, isn't it? Okay, so I want you to tell me if it needs more salt or whatever. We can't take any salt out, so if it's too salty, we can't do anything. Mm -hmm. But if it like needs more salt, tell me. Okay. Just shove it in your bowl. <laughs> oh, older, shorter head version of me. Then it's good advice. <laughs> that one's really nice. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. See how I. I think. would preferably like the outer, the dumpling bit, the, the not fried, the, the casing to be fried. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was saying I like, don't like them soft, mm -hmm. but they're going to be in a soup, so they're really that, soft. That, that's really nice, though. That's, I don't really like that. That's good. Mmm. Mmm. That's really, really nice. Mmm. I don't need more soy sauce. Oh, damn. I didn't put enough. Mm. No, I need more. I think I need more of these. <laughs> it is overall, it's, it's nice, but overall it's not, it's not wow. Yeah, no, it, it's like, it's edible. It's not like, oh my god, it's so salty. But it's not like, this is the best filling I've ever had. Mm. I don't think it needs more salt. It needs... Okay, so no more soy sauce? No, it needs some sort of like... Well, this is all that's in it. Something to lift it, because right now, right now is the flavour, like... Okay. I hope you understand what I'm meaning here, but right now the flavour is quite like that. Mm -hmm. It needs to go like that. Mm. Oh, that smells nice. It's cooking wine. I can drink. I can drink that. So oh, it's cooking wine. <laughs> How strong is it? It's fourteen percent. Child's play. That's no, child's but play. But it's cheap. It's it's like cooking wine, so it won't taste oh, yeah. good. Yeah. I would say it needs probably like if you're gonna add like cup of something or like whatever it needs to be like a third down two thirds down maybe okay i'll just do a little a little slosh i think the sesame oil will make it really nice um ah, some of the sloshing on the table because i just i, I really like sesame oil oh, so do i i'm I glad like you like sesame oil that's what what do we use to fry in sesame oil let me do it stir fry that's what we used to do yes he says stir fry <laughs> remember you were like glug 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 i was like oh my god stop it's so expensive <laughs> that was until we like we we mucked up the the um walk yeah, we need a better. I need a new walk. We're not cleaning it properly. That's our fault. A little bit more because I missed it because I put it on the table. Oh, that's too much. That is too much. Let's spoon it out before it gets absorbed. Oh, it'll be fine. Okay, it'll cook off. Yeah. What's going on with my hair today? It's like I look weird. Okay, Scottish pork dialect is interesting. I didn't understand it was different until you just said both. Could you like that one, please? Um, I'm hungry now. You know, you know the risk of watching my stream. You always get hungry. Um, okay, so the pork filling is okay. So we can just make up the rest of the dumplings, which was the intention. So, oh my god, so much stuff. So, speaking of pork, I found out that meatballs traditionally are a mixture. It's like a third, third pork mince, third venison, and third beef mince. 
oh. if you want to make proper traditional meatballs. Like Italian. Yeah, for making like to put in like marinara sauces and stuff like that, and, like on like meatball subs and stuff. Interesting. So I thought like if you know, I know you do primarily like vegan and vegetarian stuff. Well, I'm making pork. But so. I think I think it'd be really cool if we like did like a burger off challenge or something like that. Ooh, yeah, that might be a good idea. Like, all know. says your hair looks fine, by the way. Just so you know. I'm just thinking my face looked weird, you know. My face always looks <laughs> don't mean that. You were, you walked right into that. Also I got a I got some more rice wine vinegar. Really? I can't I can't, I can't see the bottle considering how <laughs> minuscule it is. Two pounds. Really? Do you want to do that? Well, two pounds fifty, I think. Wow. And that was that was also two pounds sixty. That's that's my dinner. I didn't eat it. That's all I had. This is fun. You got two. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is the. I'm not gonna drink this. I was about to go mm, <laughs> pretend to drink it, but I think I'd actually be sick. So this. Oh, this is the fish stock that we're gonna use in the soup. I'm gonna pop it over here. No, I'm not gonna pop it over here. So it's available to us. Um, but we need to make the rest of the dumplings. So we need to get on with the dumpling making. Um, so I need to actually no, I need to mix this a bit more. The soup you're making is that what we're having tomorrow night? Um, I was gonna have it for my dinner, but we can have some tomorrow night because there's gonna be four servings, and we're obviously not gonna eat that all tomorrow night. That'd be really nice. I mean, I want it tonight. <laughs> Delicious stock, delicious fishy kelpie stock, mm. but it's homemade Korean dashi. That's what that is over there. Homemade Korean dashi. <laughs> um, okay. Mm. Right, so now we have to actually get on to making dumplings. I've got five already pre-made over here. Do you know what the nicest thing is? What? The Bluetooth works on this laptop, so I have <sighs> I have a mouse. I can just. So nice. Um, so yeah, we've got. Be careful with this because it's been next to the hot, the hot stove top. So we've got five pre-made, um, and we're gonna make some more. Now we're being having to be very. First of all, these got stuck together while I was defrosting them. So give me a second to dis to disconnect them. Is that all you need me to stick around for? Oh or? yeah, it was just that, yeah. The cool. dumpling you tied. I'm gonna give you a hug. Okay, you're gonna go out to the living room. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap some presents. Oh. Is it Christmas? Yeah. No, it's just uh okay. the, just some guests from the classmates. Oh the chair's ending. Oh well, yeah. yeah. Joe's on his, his last week. <laughs> we can how that dumpling filling smells like something as the one. It's not exactly very nice ASMR my voice, let's be honest. Okay. Is that water for you? Oh, because that's just about, see, you've got, you've you've already got, got a drink. No, you've got a glass of water there. Yes, yeah, silly lada. Okay, mm. let's do that. And then we put less than a tablespoon of the filling in the center. Sorry, what did you say in the center? Um, in the box on the left. And then the, point, the thing we are supposed to do is pinch it in the middle and then fold it over. I'll show you if I can, if I can show you like this. Like, oh, this one's quite stiff. The next one's soft. I should be able to do that one. I think this might actually be two. So we fold it like that and then you fold it again like that. Except I'm not doing it properly and I'm not doing it far enough over, so it looks kind of weird. But like. Like that, do you understand? Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah? Problem is though, is the filling tries to come out the other side while you're doing that, so. Um, so it gets a bit messy. And then you get raw pork on your hands and you have to go wash them. But hopefully you get the rhythm down. That's kind of the, like I said, I've only made, really made gyoza, which is not made in this complicated fashion. Again, actually, this is a um, this is a dumpling recipe, not a mandu recipe. So, you know, maybe I'm folding it in the wrong way for a Korean dumpling. Oh my god, so much stuff leaking out. Um, and obviously, if it's leaking out like that, it's not going to seal properly and it's going to leak into the soup, which you don't want. We want it to be nice and smooth. So I'm going to take that one out because I messed it up. I'm 
We're gonna eat those, but we're not gonna put them in the soup, okay? Um... Like, I wanted to do, like, rosebud ones, like, round ones, but I could only get round wrappers, and you, you have to do square wrappers to do the round ones. I mean, I could try and make a round one. Should we try and make a round one? I think we should. So, liquid first. Oop. I'm gonna stuck my hand. Liquid first. You guys hear the music okay? Oh wow, it's a lot louder than it normally is. I wish the songs on pret on um, Pretzel were like normalized, so they were all the same. Sa they were all the same volume. Yeah, I'm gonna um, cook the ones that aren't falling apart. I'm gonna fry them later because that's how I like to eat them. But um, for these ones, I'm gonna. I need to have enough that are. Excuse you. Oh, it's past ten o'clock. So now my, my notifications are gonna make noise. Um, put it on silent gives me just a second. But yeah, we want to have ones that aren't bursting because if they burst in the soup, it's just gonna mess up the soup. We don't want that. We want them to look pretty, you know. Um, but it doesn't matter too much if we mess up the soup as long as it's not like chunky with pork. Um, like. That should be okay because that's you can't even see it, but it's like leaking, leaking a little bit of liquid. But like, if it was leaking like chunks of the filling, it wouldn't work. The tasting has finished. Um, Joe came in and he gave it his thumbs up. We added some more of the wine and like tiny little thing. Um. We added some- oh, I could, I could make a couple of- you know, if I make some of these, less time consuming, just kind of squish it, they would look so cute in the- in the- in the soup. So if I make 16 of those for the, for the actual soup, and then I can just make gyoza for the rest, gyoza-shaped ones, anyway. Yeah, that mess is better. <laughs> Easier. Okay, let me just turn my phone on silent. Okay. Like I said, we need 16 or thereabouts for the soup. So once I've done 16, we can start um, getting the soup together. One's leaking like pork juice see, at the top. Maybe you can't see, I don't know if it's- it's probably not focusing on it because I've turned off water focus, which is good because it's kind of gross. Tiny little- tiny little onion looking thing. <laughs> Do you know what, I can probably put this on the, the counter so you can see it. There you go. Sleep early morning. Okay, see you later. Thank you for stopping by and have a good sleep. Okay. okay, so yes. So how are we doing? What are we what are we doing? That is a good question. Um we're gonna finish these 16, so I've got two. Um again, we probably don't need to make 16, we can probably just make eight because I'm gonna need to, oh no, we'll need to make 16 and then like freeze eight of them. Because I'm only gonna have like a little bit tonight. So there's not much point making that many. I don't know, I haven't really decided how I'm gonna do it yet. We'll figure it out when we get to it. Um, So there's like corn flour on, like that's how they're stored. So putting water on them, um, you know, makes the corn flour sticky and it becomes a glue and that's how they're held together, just in case anyone was wondering. 
why we wet the edges, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Make a tiny little, tiny little dumpling with a little twist. That's quite cute. I like that. It's a little bit like a little lotus, doesn't it? I wish I hadn't made this so hard for myself by having the um, the dumpling wrappers stick together. Not that I did it intentionally, but you know. Oh, wanted to stay at a hotel. So does that mean you are staying at a hotel if she didn't say anything? Sorry, I'm not showing you what I'm doing. A little bit less than a tablespoon of the, well that's quite a lot actually, it's probably about a tablespoon of the gyoza filling. Pinch, pinch, and pinch, and keep on pinching until you make a cute little dumpling. Yeah. <laughs> Where to put this? Colors like that again, oh my goodness. Sorry, I got I splashed the screen, so I was just cleaning up. How do I make sure that they don't break open? It's 50% um squeezing them really really hard and 50% just praying. <laughs> um like this one's leaking a little bit, but it, you can't actually see because the focus is off. But like, I think it's okay. But if you can see like this, if you can see like the filling just bursting out, that's gonna burst. You just have to basically hope that you've squeezed, you've sealed it well enough. Um, in all honesty. So yeah, I'm gonna make the ones for the soup and then I'm gonna freeze any leftover. Um, probably gonna have too much filling for the skins that I've got. Too much filling for the skins that I've got. I'm still, I'm still journey from the block. Um, <laughs> do not know why that popped, that, that was what I thought of. Um, but I'm just gonna buy more skins. Hey, thanks for the host, dude. Hey, Ali, how's it going? We're making. Dumpling soup. Yeah, so this one's actually like spewing out quite a lot of um, juice. So I don't think it's tied tight enough. And obviously if it starts to feel like it's getting really, really thin, then that might split at the bottom. But I've never actually made dumplings this, um, hey, thanks for the host, my dude. Um, I've never actually made dumplings in this shape before, so 50% could be just making up, to be honest. But I'm enjoying them. I think they're cute and they'll look better in the soup than the gyoza-shaped ones. Yeah, so can you see that I'm pushing, I was pushing that to like meet up with the top and I was pushing it underneath so it's starting to burst out. So you kind of have to squish it down, squish it down, ruin its its hopes and dreams before it can, <laughs> before it can have any, just like crush it, <laughs> crush its dreams before it can have any dreams of escaping. I got a bit dark, sorry. <laughs> Um, there we go, pop that there. Yeah, so um, I will be streaming tomorrow, not that I'm leaving now, but just so you guys know, I will be streaming Sims tomorrow. We're gonna have some fun, it's gonna be great. 
And then it's so much less stressful, you are totally right, let me grab it. And then on Sunday, not Thursday, I don't know why I tried to say Thursday, Thursday's tomorrow. On Sunday, we will be um, making Korean sweet pancakes, which are called like, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm not going to try, I'll make a fool of myself. Um, but they're pancakes, and they're sweet pancakes, and we're also going to make yarn pang which is egg bread um which is like a little 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 loaf we're not gonna make loaves because i don't have little loaf tins but like they're little loaves of bread and they've got an egg just cracked into the center so when you you pull it apart it's just like this just cooked egg in the center of the bread um so we're gonna give that a shot as well on that sunday which is very exciting. It's gonna be my first cooking stream on a Sunday. <laughs> Cause I, you know, usually used to stream on a Friday, but now I'm streaming on Sundays, woo! I'm just gonna take apart a couple layers of this gyoza to show you. Cause it got stuck together, so. Just take a few layers apart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we only really need to make one more. But, you know, we'll see. She's <laughs> just wandering around in the background. You could probably hear him. Okay. onion of mince. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna move the move the filling out of the way and this little this little bat, this little sad dude. Um I don't know where I can put him actually because he's got raw meat in him. So I don't really want to like let it go everywhere. So I'm gonna pop him in there. And we're gonna move this over here. Chopping. We need to chop up um, the garlic and the spring onions that are going to go into the soup. So I'm going to move this here and get clean my chopping board. And Joe's going to come in here. What's up, dude? Just going to move the jig back. The sticky tape. Oh, I didn't forget, I forget the word sound tape there. Uh-huh. I didn't. Uh-huh. You want to come to the dumplings? Oh, cool. They're really cute. Thank you. Oh, I like them. Come on, me. Don't find me. Just you giving you a hug. Sneak hug. Don't you shoe me. Don't you shoe me. You're not making shoes, you're making dumplings. Well, not dumplings, what they call well, no, the dumplings is right. Okay, what did I call them then? That was wrong. Gyoza. Gyoza. Gyoza is Japanese. That is actually gyoza, though. It's the shape that that's gyoza. Um, but we're making mandu, which could be any shape. <laughs> I think. Swoop. Okay, so we're gonna um, chop up some garlic and chop up some spring onion. Also called. Good joke. Funny joke! Uh, can you get me another towel from the cupboard, please? Yes, we'll get wet. I can. Whoosh! Goodness, this is very exciting music. Would madam like a pink towel or a yellow towel? What am I gonna pick? Correct, madam, the pink towel. Yes. You a half my person or a whole dumpling in one go person? I say <laughs> I'm a I'm a um ha a half bite person. I take a dumpling <laughs> I bite a dumpling in half. I don't know why I was trying. I take a dumpling a half at a time. That's not a phrase. Apparently your eyebrows are on fleek, dear. If I could uh, interject 
on uh, your eating methods. No. Lara isn't really on, you know, one bite or whole thing and that sort of thing. It's more of like a opens mouth and just picks a handful of food and throws it at the mouth and however much gets in there is how much. Okay, food. did I invite you in here to be rude at me? I didn't even no. invite you in here. You just came in on your own accord. Yeah. Ali says that your eyebrows are on fleek. Are they? Cool. Considering I never do anything to my eyebrows and everyone thinks I fuck them. Yeah, they're actually a fairly yeah. decent shape, considering you don't fuck them. It's because I'm, like, the peak of male performance. You may not like it. I'm gonna kill you. Can you get the garlic while you're in there? I'm spring onions. <laughs> Thank you. No. Thank you. I can What's imagine this food store is true. No, don't take it inside. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, what? Garlic. Spring onion. So, yes. What we need to do, if I can scroll down to the actual recipe, we need two stalks of green onion, uh, spring onion in the UK, and half a teaspoon of minced garlic. I'm gonna say that's one clove. That sounds like one clove, right? Yes, he's nodding. Oh, you can see him nodding, so. You can't get garlic. Joe, Joe can't touch garlic, he's a vampire, so he's, he can stay young forever. Okay, why do you keep punching me? Ah, uh, because, um, I don't know. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. You still feel sick? Yeah. I was like, food. We don't have any food. No, you can have the rest of my wrap if you want. I'll have the soup for dinner. Are you sure? Well, yes! Well, tough, that's all we've got to eat. And you're, you're in my stream. I'm in your stream. That's what I just said. Yeah, that's right. I actually can't really get my headphones. That's why I came in all those, like, years ago. All oh, those months ago. I've never heard you just came in for headphones and you've been stuck here ever since. Yeah, that's what happens. Right. Save me some of that dumpling yield. They're gonna be in the soup, but we're gonna make more, so. Yeah. Because they are hella fun. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so. We're gonna queso. We're gonna crush this. It's only one clove, which sounds wrong to me, but whatever. I'm going with the recipe. This is such exciting music. Oh, I'll stop dancing now. <laughs> All right. Okay, and we need the whole spring onion. It doesn't say just the green part, so I'm gonna say it's the whole thing. So, uno, dos. Just get rid of all the bits that we don't want to use first before we start chopping anything. Ooh, it's a hole in it. Oh well, yeah, I tried to chop that one in half already. Okay, so there we go. Alrighty. Hands all sticky. If Joe was actually a vampire, we never would have dated because I love garlic so much. He would have just like recalled from me the first time I breathed near him. So if he's a gar if he's a garlic. <laughs> very good at hiding it. He's a vampire, he's very good at hiding it. Oh wow, my English is great today. Now, this is probably supposed to be minced to a paste because it's going in liquid, but I'm just gonna get it as, as, as smooth as I can and then just stop bothering. So as always, if any of you would like to the recipe that I'm making tonight, Take exclamation mark food or exclamation mark recipe and it will give you the links. It's from, if you're watching this after the fact, the recipe for the uh, stock and the soup itself is from My Korean Kitchen. And the recipe for the dumplings is from the Walks of Life. So you can look up those um, if you are giving me all the food, <laughs> rather be a werewolf. Yeah, um, so if you are wanting to make these and you're watching like the VOD or whatever, that is how you find the recipes. 
I'd rather be a really? You'd rather be a werewolf? <laughs> You're just sniffing in the living room. I'd rather, even though I love garlic, I think I'd rather be a vampire. I think Amanda um, had a discussion about that on her stream the other day about whether you'd rather be a vampire, a werewolf, or like a ghost. I think this is pretty smooth. I tend to stir fry werewolf meat because I want to walk. It's been a good stream. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Night and month, I can, I go nuts and can burn up all the calories. You know, the rest of the time. I mean, I guess, but don't you need to like eat when you're a werewolf? I mean, it kind of depends on the the lore you're following, I guess. But like, is it one of the things that they have to feed? Maybe you don't have to. But. Okay, so that's the garlic chopped up. I'm gonna quickly rinse out the fishiness from the bowl. Okay. Pan, clean, on hold, done. I was saying earlier that I have I've bought myself um oh, what was that? what was it like? Um, I bought myself a little um, gas, uh, like a like a little portable gas stove top, so you guys can actually see what I'm cooking when it arrives. It's supposed to arrive this week, so next week we'll hopefully be able to do stuff with that, so you can actually see me cooking. Because right now the hob is right here, it's right beside the chopping board, but you can't actually see what I'm doing on it because that would mean me moving the camera, and there's nowhere to put the camera that makes it, you know, is, is, a, is a nice shot so you can see everything. So, we're going with that. Um, sorry, we're going with this right now. Um, so, we need to boil the stock. When it starts boiling, add the soy sauce and the garlic, and then add the dumplings for about six, no, three minutes. And then... While that's happening, I'll chop up the spring onion, and then we need to beat... Oh, we've got two eggs we need to beat together, and then we need to drizzle them into the soup, as you would if you were making egg drop soup, which I've never made, so this is gonna be exciting. Um, and then add the sesame, seed, the sesame oil and the green onions, and then serve it, that's it. Um, so basically, once the dumplings are in, it's, it's pretty quick. Once the dumplings are cooked, it's like, done. Um, so I think I might actually just cut the spring onion now, so we can just one thing after the other. Um, but I don't know how to, I've never made egg drop soup. So I'm gonna see if there's some kind of special way of doing it. Egg drop soup, see if there's something that I need to, you know, figure out, like do properly before I can start. It's just, it might just be drizzle in the egg or it might be drizzle in the egg while whisking. That's why I want to, I want to figure out. Um, whisk the eggs. Oh, they have slightly differently. Drizzle the eggs into the hot broth, holding a fork over the bowl Pour the eggs slowly through the times and whisk with the other. How are you supposed to hold a fork, pour it, and whisk it? That's too many. There's not enough hands. Nice to have for emergency soup. Yeah, I was thinking that because we've got um, we've got electric, we've got a, an electric stove. So I actually like I was I originally got it for I originally ordered it for the stream, but I was checking reviews to check I was getting a good one, and 
all like the reviews were saying, I got this because I have an electric stove and I need might need it in if there's a power cut. And I was like, oh, that's really smart. I didn't even consider that. So yeah, we're gonna have we'll have that like as an emergency, but it's mainly for the stream. Um, okay, so I'm gonna have to pour. This is what I want to know. I can pour it through a fork, and that way there won't be any like large chunks of egg. I'll be like, okay. So I'm gonna chop up the spring onion now. And then um, get every actually get the stock boiling while I do that. So here it is. It's about four. It says it makes four and a half cups. It's about it's almost exactly seven hundred milliliters. Um, the power cut the stream will go down. I know. I was me. I was meaning just for me and Joe to use. <laughs> um, uh, seven hundred milliliters of stock. This is the homemade fish sock, just so you're up, totally up to date with what's happening. I'm gonna put it on, on medium high. I don't know, this pan is kind of um, wide. Maybe we should put it in a deeper pan. That's had oil in it, that'll take too long to clean. I'm just gonna use this. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so we'll have it like, if there's an emergency, if, there, if there's a power cut and we need to have dinner, we can still make dinner on a little portable gas stove. Um, right, so yeah, I'm gonna, well, this is starting to heat up because it's gonna take a while. I'm gonna chop up a spring onion. Thinly, as thinly as I can. Quickly, let's change the camera back. So how is the, um, the audio and stuff on the cooking uh, on the new laptop. If you guys notice a difference, if you are a regular, hopefully, I mean, if you can't notice a difference, that's fine. But like, I notice my mic. Hopefully, my mic isn't coming in and out like it used to do. And the actual audio of the um, alerts is not breaking, <laughs> which was the one of the big problems. I'm actually gonna stop chopping this one because I don't think Joe will want that much spring onion so let's just let's just continue with just one I probably should have made more dumplings but I can reheat it I hope you know what we're gonna make half a portion um so I'm gonna before this starts boiling I'm gonna pour it back I'm gonna use half of it because I'm just thinking like if I try and make it later and reheat like the dumplings, it's just gonna fall apart. So I'm gonna use 350-ish of this stock. Um, about 350. Oh, that's not very much at all. Um, we may have to use a smaller pan. See, it's kind of not very much. Oh, more of an even sound. Oh, that's good to hear. Okay, so that's gonna start boiling and then we can use But that way we can we can we do eight, and that way it's not like wasting a lot of stuff that we're gonna we can't really reheat. I'm gonna do one egg, and it'll be fine. And I'll just make it again for dinner tomorrow. With because the stock's made, the dumplings are made. It'll just be a case of putting it all together, really. You know. So next week I want to try and make um, some beef stew, except I'm going to make a mushroom one, because um, you guys know I don't like red meat. But I don't have anything for the other day, so let me get, let me know if there's anything you'd like me to cook. This doesn't necessarily have to be Korean, could be a cake or some kind of um, like dessert or whatever. But I'm totally open to like ideas and stuff. Preferably some kind of cake, because I've made a lot of dinners, like savory stuff or something.
who that one cheesecake? The, what cheesecake? You're gonna have to tell me now. I'm intrigued. Oh, a fluffy cheesecake. Oh, I've made one of those, like, before, way before I started streaming. I made one of those, um, like, on my, my first food blog that exists. I'm not gonna give you a link to it, but it exists. <laughs> um, and, uh, it was really good. The one thing I would say about it is that it tastes like souffle if you have it hot. Um, but... I left it to cool overnight. Like, even if you have it when it's mostly cooled down, it tastes like souffle and it's gross. But like, if you have it the next day after leaving it in the fridge overnight, it's like heaven. It's so nice. Um, so I would definitely recommend making that. But I might make that in um, Japanese month, which I'm going to do. I'm going to do a Japanese month because I love Japanese food, but I don't want to do it straight after Korea month. Okay, so that's I'm chop this a bit finer. That's the spring onion done, and I think that's everything I have to chop up for the soup. Oh, there's so, I, I know, right? They're just, you're just like, please give me this. I want it. So, um, garlic. Only other thing I need to do is um, get the eggs. Oh, I can slice some nori. When do you do the nori? Oh, you do garnish it with nori. Okay, I should get some nori out. Sorry, I said nori a lot there and I didn't actually say what it was. Nori is the uh, sheets of seaweed, dried seaweed, uh, that you normally would see on the outside of a sushi roll. Um, if you were there in my kimbap stream, we used it then, but I have loads of it. Because I keep, somehow, I just keep acquiring more. Um, but I'm going to get the, oh, the eggs are right there. I don't need to even get them out. And I'm going to get some nori. And it says you can serve it with kimchi. But um, we have discussed previously I don't have any kimchi. So we don't need a whole sheet, which is great. Because we have a little torn one here. Nori is so nice. Um, back when I was like... A, a way more of a weave. I'm not going to say when I was a weave because I'm still a weave. Um, I used to go to the Asian supermarket um, and just get like the crispy seaweed snacks. Oh, buddy, they are so good. I accidentally, I think I got put off them because I accidentally got a um, a spicy one once, and I was like, eee, <laughs> I don't like spice. Okay, so the pan is starting to heat up just a little bit. Um, so I will keep you updated on all things boiling water. Yeah, not the point. This is a slightly stale because the packet's been open for a while, so it's kind of harder to cut. Why are you boiling with your friend? Okay. Basically just cutting this so we have a nice garnish for Instagram, because you know, it's all about those Instagram pics. simmering it's not boiling yet but I have to be really careful because it's so little in there I'm gonna add a little bit extra just because I'm worried about there not being enough and it boiling like away Mm. 
Okay, so we put in the garlic and the soy sauce. How much soy sauce do we need? Um, one tablespoon of regular soy sauce. So half a tablespoon of soy sauce. Um, okay, Google. What's half a tablespoon in teaspoons? So one and a half teaspoons of soy sauce. Um, that now and I'm being very careful because this has obviously got the whole meat on it, the, the tablespoon, because I was using it to do the filling. So I'm just gonna do three of these half tablespoons. One using Korean soy sauce because I'm cool. Two three. Okay that's starting to properly boil now. So chucking that garlic played Overwatch when the demo was first like released and it was free and everything and I mean it's yeah it's not free I was gonna say it's still free that's a lie um but yeah I, I played it when it was first released and it was fun but I'm not a huge fan in all honesty I know it would get me more views if I streamed it but I don't really like it and I'm really bad at multiplayer games anyway this garlic is making the soup like chunky I don't like it Okay, when it's on a rolling boil, add the dumplings and leave for three minutes. So I'm going to say that that's a rolling boil. And we're going to pop these bad boys in. Ooh, upside down. Good start. I really need a spoon for it. smell of fish. I hope it goes well with the pork. Yeah, I'm definitely a co-op game person. Yeah, rather than a competitive play. Here we have, they kind of look like little pig noses, it's cute. Okay, okay Google, set me a timer for three minutes. Ugh, running out of space on my counter. Okay, so that's gonna do its thing. Hopefully they won't burn and stick to the bottom, which they're already doing. Let's not let that happen, please. I don't want them to rip. Maybe it's because they're supposed to be more liquid. Should we put? Should we put this in a? In a I think we should put this in a smaller pan. I'm really worried about burning everything. much of a difference in all honesty. We're just gonna stick with that pan. Oh god it smells so fishy. And I don't mean in a suspicious way. Watch a stream yesterday game really like Azamots? I don't think I've heard of that. What was it about? Sorry. I'm trying to find something. Can I just say, I'm so happy you guys liked the sim stream because I was really worried people would be like, oh, it's such a casual game, like, no one's gonna, it's not fun, but it was, it got a really good reception, so, it was just ha good because I love the sim, so I'm really happy you guys enjoyed it. Okay, so that's some seaweed for our topping. Um, <laughs> the dumplings are like on the where the boiling is where the bubbles are coming up so they're going <laughs> like that um we're gonna use one egg because i think we're supposed to use two yeah two eggs okay and uh, we're gonna use one egg and we're gonna do it off the heat so you guys can see what i'm doing uh, 
I mean, we're going to add the, the egg to the soup off the heat, is what I mean. Hey, Nouvelle, welcome. Sims is what you enjoy, so just do it. Yeah, I mean, that's true. But that's why I'm happy, because I was, I was going to do it anyway, but I'm happy that everyone enjoyed it. Okay, these don't look like they're cooked yet, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep an eye on them. Um, good start. <laughs> Getting eggshell without even, before I even like put it in the pan. Oh! The King stories of the stars and the children of the gather items. Katamari Damasi, let's get together. Katamari on the funk, let's funk together. I've never played it, but my friend really, really liked it. Likes it. And he sings that a lot. Oop. Well, okay. So that's how long they should have taken. Finally planning my Scotland trip. Figured my linear way to Glasgow. Aw, uh, yeah, we're on the east. We're on the east side. West side. Okay, these look like they're almost done. But I'm worried about not cooking them pork enough, so... Sorry, I'm gonna get away from the mic. He said, bruh. Okay. There. Can you see everything okay? I know that that's kind of like off frame. But I always worry. Right, so, here we go. Right. Drizzle the beaten egg over the soup, like making egg drop soup. Add the sesame oil, it's over here, and the green onion, which I've already cut. Here it is. Um, so we're gonna attempt to make egg drop soup, and this is gonna ruin it. I know it's gonna be ruined, but we're gonna try anyway. Don't know if that's hot enough. The back on the heat for a little bit longer. It has to be really hot so it cooks it. Um, how much we need one teaspoon of sesame oil, so I'm going to use a half teaspoon because we're halving everything. And then we're going to have this for dinner and it's going to be great! Oh, it's going to be great! I like how you said it's going to be great. As I did, that was great. Okay, let's go, let's go! Let's move some of these dumplings out of the way. Whoop, whoop. You guys can see what I'm doing. Trying to do it in a way you guys can see. It's really hard to drizzle it because there's only so much space. I think that worked. It looks wispy to me. Well, back to lurking. Nah. The curse of working. And then we add the Green onion, that's quite a lot of green onion, I'm just putting a bit of it. Do, 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 do. Green onion and half teaspoon of sesame oil. Let's work together. Get an on the funk. Oh, a bit extra went in there. Oopsie daisy. And serve the soup in a bowl. That's it. That's it done. And there we have it. That actually looks really nice. The camera look, makes it look a little bit lumpy. I was gonna say, where's my phone? I'm reading the recipe off my phone. God, sometimes I'm so thick. Okay, um, let's move this knife so we can take some pictures. It's the picture time. We should have a command for that. It's picture break. I'll take nicer pictures when they're in the bowl, but I'm worried I'm gonna like mess it up, so. Okay. Bowl. That's my pocket, there it is. Um ha -ha. Na, 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 na. Right. Ugh, what am I doing? I'm like holding the bowl with my shoulder. Serve the soup in a bowl and garnish with dried seaweed. Eat while warm with some kimchi or rice. You may season it with salt or black pepper. Okay. Thank you for the permission. Let's... 
Like I said, we're gonna try and do this Instagram worthy. So we're gonna try and be really nice. I'm gonna pop that up there for now because I don't really need it. So let's let's funk together. Get a Mari on the funk. It's stuck in my head. I'm really sorry. It's your fault. <laughs> you guys got it stuck in my head. Okay, so let's get the area all nice. Let's get a nice picture for Instagram. Because that's what we're about. One dumpling. Two dumplings. I said four per serving, so three dumplings. Four dumplings. Ta da! I get a label for this. Fishy, oh my god. And I don't mean that in a RuPaul drag race kind of kind of way. Has to be the most photogenic dumplings, alright. Get that bit of egg off it. I really do want to learn about like food styling. Because I think it's really cool. Ooh, it's really oily. That's not very nice. I want to redeem my banner points. Not really anything to redeem them for yet, but we're gonna do. I'll do some stuff with it. That's like my next thing. <laughs> my next job. I can't even see the dumplings. Should we put- I'm gonna put another dumpling on the top so you guys can see it. By you guys, I mean the audience. Oh no! It fell in! No, 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 you're messing up all my hard work! Mate, I spent ages making that nice. Nah, never mind, it's just gonna fall in. <laughs> Maybe we need to add another. Let's just add all of the dumplings. Let's add them all. It just looks like grey and grey and more grey. Hey golden one! What are you blurging at? Okay. Let's put some bay leaf or something. Let's put something pretty on it. And then she goes and puts like black strips of seaweed. That does not look nice at all. Rain. I finished work. It was rain. <laughs> it all rain everywhere. It's so rain. Okay, that's so raven. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know why I did that. Photo time. Oh, we should probably move this. Out of my way. You are in my space. You are ruining the shot. Get out of here. Right, I'm not gonna make the rest of the dumplings on stream because that would just like take us till like one in the morning. So, I'm gonna do them tomorrow after the stream while I'm cooking dinner. See, it looks great! Oh, thank you! Hey, Jinxetera! And I know how to pronounce your name. We're just taking our Instagram-worthy pictures. <clears throat> At least that's the idea. Just need to add a few bits of chili. I don't really, I don't have any chili. If I had Korean chili flakes, I would uh, add some because that would look really good. That's a great idea, but I don't have any. <laughs> Oop, zoom in. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's, let's have some because he was drinking. Soup time. Oh, 
Holy Moses, that's fishy. But nice. Mm. Yeah, I've just started doing it on YouTube. I haven't really made it like... I haven't made a big deal about it because I've only got like three. Because um, basically I was going to do it before and then I really wasn't happy with the quality. So now I've started like... The streams are a bit slightly better quality. I've started um, putting them on... Uh, Putting them on YouTube. If you search purple coffins on YouTube, it should come up. I also do archive on Twitch as well, but um, only for it only lasts for two weeks. So yes, I did. I did. It is on YouTube. Uh, it's already up. Uh, I think the the tofu wraps went up today. I scheduled it so it'd go up today, but it's, I uploaded it ages ago. I'm gonna see if Joe's awake enough to try some. Uh, if he's not, I'm just gonna have it all, but if he is, then he'll be, I'll go and get him. I just didn't change the start of it. It's not this week, it's today. Sorry, I, I freaked out. I thought I hadn't changed the command all this time. Take a little spoon of the star. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, that smells very fishy. I told you. I know. If you don't want to have any, I understand. So, I'm going to do like a scoop. I, I did like a little like, just to get the liquid. Um, and then I'm going to try a dumpling. Yay, I have a subscriber. One subscriber. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, it's not like, oh, it smells really yeah. strong, but it's not that strong. Yeah, nice. So if you like take a scoop, there's spring onion and garlic and egg in it. So if you try and get a scoop of it, it's quite a large bit of egg. Sorry. It's like egg drop soup. It's supposed to be like a bit like egg drop soup. <coughs> Hot? No. Fishy. Fishy. Oh, God. Oh. Is that really fishy, that bit? <coughs> Mm. Once you get over the initial, um, the initial fishiness, that's quite nice. Mm. Do you want to try a dumpling? Yep. Yeah. Now, they are going to be soft because they've been boiled. Yep. Yeah. Soft. Thank you. That's right. I'm a soft boy. Fight me. Okay, here you go. I'll just let you have that Give me a So you can figure out the best way of doing it. Because it's going to, it's going to like squirt. <laughs> like a I really don't like the texture of boiled dumplings, but mm. I don't know if it works because it's in soup. How works. Is it? Is it nice? Mm. Mm. Does it work with the fish? Oh yeah. Even though it's pork? Wow. Well, we've got all of those. Oh, you've got, you know, surf and turf, so. so yeah, surf and turf does work. Those dumplings are really nice. Wow. Mmm, go for it. We've got another bowl in here. Mm. I think I got the one with the extra thick skin. Mm. 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 Whoa! That's so good. I think Joe likes it. I think you could use more soy sauce in the in the dumpling, not in the soup. But that's just me. I like I think I like things you know what, I think saltier. You should, than you know what I think you should do actually. What? If you're making this again, mm -hmm. uh, if we're making it for D and D night, um, what you should do is you should fry the dumplings first. Mm. So they've got a crispy skin. Then have like a wee bowl and pop them in the soup individually. That I think way, that's a much better That way idea. they're not getting too soggy because the skins are getting too much of the fishy flavour into it. And it is almost detracting from the flavour, but like overall those, those are really, really nice. Do you want a bowl? Uh, no. There's enough for another serving. No, I don't. I don't think I could. I could have... Does it cut the fishiness? Does it cut the fishiness? Yeah, it does, yeah. Um... I don't, the, the liquid I'm not overly keen on because of how fishy it is, um, but like the, 
the filling of the dumplings are cutting through the fishiness and it's making it really nice. I think it actually might be the seaweed that's causing it to be really... Um, the extra fishy. Really fishy. Have another well, dumpling, please. Yeah, sure. I mean, have a bit of... Maybe, maybe you got a bit of seaweed with the egg and it just overpowered uh, it for you. No, I didn't, because I checked. Oh, all right. Cooking fist bump. <laughs> Come here. Oh, okay. Holy Sorry. language. There's... Mm. You can have the dumplings in there because they're not going to last. Because mm. if they sit in the stock mm. overnight, it's just going to dissolve. Mm. Are you mm. happy? Mm. Well, I'll have the rest then. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, those dumplings are fire. Whoa. I actually really like that stock, Holy considering how fishy it is. Holy cannoli! He said booger, like it's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I remade this, I'd have to make it with just the kelp and not the anchovies, which is probably better, because it just tastes like seaweed. Um, and what else could I also I could do the pork? If I was making it for our vegan friends. Oh, yeah, no, you could. Well, you could do. I could do something else. Vegan and. Um... Someone said replacing it with mushrooms, but I don't think that would work. No. Um, but yeah, there's. The, I was about to say, if you guys want the recipe, exclamation mark recipe brings it up. If um, if this is a vod, mm -hmm. if you're watching it later, you come back later. Um, you can either check my Twitter, because I will post. I posted on Twitter the links this morning. Not all of them, just the links for the actual ma manduguk recipe, the soup. Um, but the recipe for the manduguk and the dashi is from My Korean Kitchen, and this, the recipe for the dumplings themselves is from Walks of Life, which is a blog. I see you looking at me. Is that Walks as in W-O-K? Yeah, Walks of Life. Nice, like nice pun. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's nice. I'm enjoying this. It's very fishy, but like... If you have it a little bit of time, you don't like drink it, it's mm -hmm. okay. Just I don't know why there's egg in it. I don't really know if that adds anything. I don't I don't think the egg works, personally. Mm. Mm. Well, like I said, I make this kind of thing so I can alter it for myself. But I make it as they say I should, and then later on change it. Because when I change it as I'm making it, it goes wrong. Because I've done that before. Um, <laughs> If I go, oh, I don't like this, so I won't add it, and then I'm like, okay, it's missing a lot of flavour, it needs something. From from being with Lara for about six years now, I've found out that um, a lot of the recipes she makes really, really well have essentially been bastardised. Correct use of the term? Yeah, I know, I'm not going to get annoyed at you. Before you get annoyed, they've been bastardised from like the original recipe. Oh, yeah, so they've, always. Like, they've been like turned around and twisted <laughs> and like inverted, and it's like, what comes out? At the other end is a hundred times better than the original recipe ever is. So um, I can't wait to see what she's going to do with this recipe. Um, might I recommend doing just like some sort of generic noodle soup mm -hmm. with it? I think it would work well with ramen. Well, the like the dumplings would work well with ramen. Yes. Wait, ramen's a Japanese dish, isn't it? They have Korean ramen, but Korean ramen mm. is entirely instant. It's, mm. it's kind of like how Amer Americans could say they have ramen, but it's mm. it's just instant ramen. But it's Korean brand. Mm. It's a ramen. It's specific flavors. There's actually I was looking it up to see, and there's actually a restaurant in America who have taken the rest the uh, flavors from the Korean ramen you get in instant noodles, like instant mm. packs, and have made actual dishes, like making everything from scratch. Oh oh. My dear, bring Oh, this. excuse me, I just um, burped. You know what you could do with these dumplings? What you could do is, like, like, exonate the whole fishy sauce thing, and <laughs> so do, like, good. some sort of vegetable broth, uh, with, like, you know, um, spring onions and strips of fried carrot, things like that, mm -hmm. but also get, like, a bit of pork, and, like, do, like, really sort of, like, sort of, like, centimetre, two centimetre thick slices of it, almost like you would if you've chopped a steak, sear them with a bit of uh, sesame on, sesame seeds on them, I'll add and, like, have that resting in the, the soup. Can I add to that? Yeah? Pork belly. Yes, pork belly, that's pork what belly I Pork belly is a big thing in Korea, pork so belly. that would work. Oh, oh, pork belly with a bit of crackling on it, oh, and the dumplings as well, oh, you got to do that, please, you got to do that. I love this. <laughs> He's, like, so excited. 
excited. I love when he gets excited about food. Okay, we're gonna drop a host, I think. Um, Sushi Day is making takoyaki, which, if you don't know, is Japanese octopus balls, and I love them. They're so nice. They're a little, like, they're just a little bowl, and, and it's, yeah. Anyway, it's obvious. They have a little bit of octopus in them. They're really nice. Um, so we're gonna do that. Um, we're gonna, oh no. What's wrong? It was recording. It was recording. This whole time, the as whole well time. as as well as well streaming. It was <laughs> I don't know when I hit that, but that's impressive that it succeeded that whole time. Well, that way you've got like... I've got some footage. A carbon copy of the yeah. stream. Yeah, I mean, I don't need it, but that's great. <laughs> um, okay, so we are gonna, um, we're gonna drop a host, so please don't leave. We're just gonna um, shimmy over. There's a good Japanese pork belly recipe I can't find. Well, if you find it later, send it to me in Discord, you know. You know the rules. Maybe you want to try my own ramen bowls. We, we, we've made ramen, um, but I made the ramen from the Yo Sushi cookbook, but our friends made us ramen, oh. and it was like one of the best things I've ever eaten. The egg was perfect. They clearly made it a lot because they knew exactly what they were doing. I have like, dreams about this ramen. It's like, so I, good. I legitimately have dreams about this ramen that they made. It was just, it was perfect. I don't know what it is. Like when I've had ramen normally without a uh, soft boiled egg in it, it's so you're like, gonna say a soft boy. It's been like, yeah, this is all right ramen. This is decent ramen. But as soon as you add that perfectly cooked soft boiled egg in there, it just lifts it. She's just like, um, and you're just like, you're just like, who oh, is Jesus? Is that you? And it's, Whoa! Uh, thank you for those bits, Looping Lemon. Thank you so much for those bits, and I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. We are gonna host Sushi Days, making tapiaki. Um, I don't think I've ever spoken to them, but I know they're a cooking streamers, so I followed them when they were offline. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much. First of all, I gotta go through the spiel, so please don't leave. We're gonna go to a host. Um, the big spiel is, uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out. If you haven't dropped a follow already, feel free to drop a follow. Do it when I'm offline if you don't want me to see your name. Um, turn on notifications if you wanna know when I'm live. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Purple Coffins everywhere. I always post on all of them when I go live, so pick whichever one you want. Um, thank you to my patrons who are listed below, Ego, Luco, Mox, Maggot, Samuel, Show, and The Pims. They are the reason I can continue to do the show every week. Um, they are the reason I get tasty food every week. Which yeah. is the most important thing. Yeah, the joke gets fed. <laughs> um, yeah, so, like I said, if you do want the recipe, check out my tweet or just type exclamation mark food before the end of the day because I'll change it tomorrow. I'm going to be back tomorrow playing more Sims. Yeah, Sims 4. It's gonna be fun. And then on Sunday we're gonna be making hot dog, which are pancakes, Korean pancakes, like cinnamon pancakes, and gyan pan, I think I'm saying that wrong, which is egg bread, which is also a Korean thing. They're both Korean street foods that we're gonna try and make on Sunday, so don't miss that. Same time, 7 p.m. Uh, there's also, if you're on browser, there's a little countdown timer somewhere on the screen, like it's probably down below the video, usually is. Um, <laughs> of when I'm going to be next live, just so you guys can see. Anyway, we're going to go host Sushi Day. I'm going to shut up now. Anything you want to say? Um... Hi. Bye. Okay. Bye. Right there one. we go. Um, and we will see you guys tomorrow or Sunday or whenever you can next make it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for all those bits. Um, everybody, I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay.